Okay, I think we are ready to get going. Hello, everybody! Uh, so, in case anyone out there uh, had uh, not known this, uh, I actually did attempt to do this very thing last week, and the internet decided it hates me. Luckily, today, that is not the problem at all. Uh, just did a speed test, so we're at 31 ping, about 29 for download, 23 for upload, uh, and, uh, don't feed the unicorns? No, absolutely. Always feed the unicorns. Also, I'm gonna have to put Snowball a little bit over there. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, internet is nice and strong today. Internet is nice and strong. It usually hardly ever happens. For some reason, it just decided that the one time it was going to end up being a pain in the butt was when I needed to actually stream something. So, terrific. Terrific. It worked fine the next day. Anyway, uh, so what are we doing on this episode? Well, uh, we're playing Fallout New Vegas. I'm going to start from scratch again. I'm just going to start brand new, because no one saw anything I was doing anyway. Uh, and uh, this this is what I'm going to refer to as playing like a D&D monk, because basically, this is no equipment. When I say that, I mean uh, no equipment, no weapons, basically nothing in my inventory. We're not going to have any meds, we're not going to have any uh, junk, bullets, caps, I'm not having any money. By the time I leave Doc Mitchell's house, I will have put everything in a little box before I walk out the door, and then not picking up anything else on my journey. That's actually, I think, going to be the hardest thing for me, because every time I play an RPG, my natural inclination is to get everything I can hold. This time, I'm literally, I, I can't, I can't, I can't touch, I can't touch it at all. Um, and the, the only things that I would be able to pick up, the, the only thing I will allow for myself is if there are, like, mission-critical things I have to pick up in order to continue the game. Um, but, uh, but that's it. That, so, like, keys or key cards or stuff like that where you actually have to, you have to have it in order to complete missions. Other than that, it's nothing. It's basically just, just, like, your, your damage threshold at zero, possibly negative. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, and just fists for weapons. That's basically it. There's going to be some definite challenges because I did a little bit of a test run beforehand. Uh, yesterday, when the stream failed, I at least tried to, tried a little bit, and I realized I'm gonna have a couple things that I'm gonna have to look out for. The first one is because I have no meds, no doctor's kits, no stims, no food items, nothing like that. Uh, I gotta know, and and I have no caps to rent rooms. I have to be looking for free beds all over the place so that I can rest. And then, the other problem that I started to think about is, I don't think that means I have any way to deal with radiation poisoning if I start to get rads. I don't think there is a way to deal with it if you don't have meds, like, like rad away to deal with it. So, uh, so if I take too much radiation damage, I'm probably going to have to reload from an old save, because I, I, don't, I don't think that's going to work. Um, but anyway, uh, that's enough explaining what we're going to do. We're actually going to jump in, and I'm going to make Cat Scratch again. We're going to start brand new, so you can see the process right from the beginning. And, uh, and, and then we can, we can jump in. Uh, this is, uh, kind of a blessing in disguise, because since I didn't have this on the last one, I have these much less assuming little earbuds that I can use for the game instead of the big cans that I usually put on. Um, but anyway, uh, EXP Limited makes it clear that yes, we do have to be aware of feeding the unicorns, don't worry. Uh, Snowball got fed before we started. Okay, now let's get back on to the main game here, and let's see if we can't just jump on in. Okay, let's see here. There we go. Uh, one thing, like, I love the music, and I, I love the soundtrack and everything, but I'm keeping it very low, because it is very hard to hear voices, uh, and I'm, I'm also gonna turn the effects down just a little bit. Just a, just a couple, just a couple things, just a couple things. And yes, we are gonna start a new game. We're gonna start from scratch, so that you can see what is going on. 
Now, a lot of you have probably, if you have played this game, this is the thing that you are probably the most aware of, the opening cinematic. Uh, it is a classic. I think Fallout New Vegas is probably my favorite of the Fallout games. I liked some of the improvements to the gameplay they made in Fallout 4, but in terms of the game altogether, I, I really did appreciate what they did with New Vegas in terms of story and character, personality, the landscape. I, I just thought it was great. Can you loot... Uh, oh, can you loot caps to use for medical treatment? No, I feel like that's cheating, Alex. If I loot caps... No, no, I, ca I can't. No money. I I'm taking a vow of poverty on this one, too. No, I, I'm, I'm not... I, no cap... Vow of poverty. If I'm gonna... If I'm doing this, I'm doing it. <laughs> we we've taken a vow of poverty in this. I can't hold... Nothing. Nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm a D&D &D monk. I don't need, I don't need money. Material possessions are nothing to me. <laughs> War. War never if that were the case, I would, I would save up caps and go to Dr. Usanagi so that I could raise my stats, but I'm, I, I'm not going to have that, so. Thanks for trying to give me an out, but it's not, ain't going to happen. So I can't take damn no. No, the, or heal it ever. Well, the thing is, the thing is, I'm not playing, I'm not playing on hardcore. Because I'm not insane. So if I get a bed that I don't have to pay for, then, then I'll be able to heal. Because beds, in, in this, if you just go and you rest in a bed that you own, or that is not currently owned, you will be able to heal. So that's, that's a bit of an out. I just, not all beds are, you can do that with. <laughs> so. So that's why I gotta be careful of where they are. Because they're, they're infrequent. Now that I'm listening to this, is this you, supposed to be Ulysses? I'm wondering if this is actually Ulysses. A vast army of if anyone played Lonesome Road. From the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Yep. I've heard of them. They're not passed, they're not nice. The the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. Mm. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river it gathers strength. There's the fort. Training drum. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business mm. under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. I do love that this game starts with you getting shot in the head, because it can only go up from there. <laughs> I just... What seemed like a simple delivery job. There's something about the, I thought you died. No, I got better. Up over here. Speaking of which, time to cash out. Chandler? We can get it over with. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't but I no think. think. Dig. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene, kid. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 carat run of bad luck. Or 24. Truth is, the, the game, game was rigged the answer. Great game, everybody. Okay, I guess we're... Welcome to Fallout New Vegas. Surprisingly enough, that is not the end of the game. Everyone knows that, though. The other fallouts, you don't have to have that kind of a classic pack. Yeah, the other thing is that immediately, because this is Ultimate Edition, they're going to be like, are you sure you don't want to use all of this stuff that we're putting in your inventory? No, I'm going to get rid of it. 
Yes, I got a caravan pack. With the Ultimate Edition, they do give you a ton of stuff right at the beginning. It's like, hey, you sure you don't want any of this? No. Okay. Sure. I sure can. Cat scratch. And I'm gonna have a fever because I can't. <laughs> cause, especially if I weren't into the wildlife. Doc Mitchell's so judgy at this point. He saved my life. Thank you for that. Uh, okay. Yeah, just, just give me this thing to see if my, if my head looks right. Okay, so cat. All right, cat is, uh, let me see here. I remember what I made her look like before. <laughs> um, now I have to remember, oh, that's right, that's right. Shaved. Monk. And then I was going with just bright red. There we go. Looks great. Perfect. Um, yes, this is yes, this is my character. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that matters. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Okay. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Yes. Okay. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. When you do have ultra settings on for this game, it does look very good. Like you could see all of the creases in in Doc Mitchell's head. So far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. Okay. Alright, so, I figured this one out the last time, but basically, we need to start... Oh, I can do this with the things, right? Strength has to be 10. Because if you're only using your fists, that's really going to have to be a priority. Perception, however, I can be a death bat. Perception is mostly useful for ranged combat, and obviously, if I'm not using any guns, not going to be an issue. Endurance, we're going to have to raise that. I'll, I'll, I'll get it to 10. But Charisma, don't need it. So, okay, now we're there. Okay, Charisma, I, I really don't. Now I have three points left over, and what I'm going to do is just add a point to Intelligence, add one to Agility, and add one to Luck. And if you're wondering why I am trying to keep those three particular stats higher, it's because Intelligence is going to give me Skill Points, which is going to be very handy. I don't have a lot of skills I need to invest in, but the ones that I do need, I want to be as like up to 100 as fast as I can. Uh, agility, because that's going to give me action points. Honestly, that's maybe the only saving grace I have in this run. And then luck, because it's going to help with critical hits. Okay, and so there's your there's your stat array if you are looking to do... At, at least I feel like this is the most optimal stat array that you could ask for if you are literally doing no equipment, no guns, no weapons of any kind. This is probably the best you can do. 10 for strength, 1 perception, 10 endurance, 1 charisma, and then 6 for intelligence, agility, and luck. And that's your special array. There we go. Surprise anybody would want to tangle with you. Hmm. Heck, you could go death claw hunting with a switch. Well, <laughs> I don't even have a switch. But I'm just jumping. Okay. Let's sit down on the ruined couch. Okay. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Dog. <laughs> uh, cat. House. Uh, uh, house. Burglar. I know. Uh, 
shelter. Night. Day? Of course, day is not a thing. Uh, campfire. Enemy. Friend. Uh, crush. Light. Dark. Mother. Uh, cookie jar. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I okay. want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. They don't. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Well, obviously, uh, you know. I ain't I given agree. to relying on others for support. Uh, that would also be true for Cat. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. That would definitely not be Cat. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Uh, that's sort of true. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Uh, mostly Almost true. Done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Okay. Tell me what you see. I see a. I don't want to tell you what I see. Uh, Shadow in the door frame. How okay. about that? Radio tower. Uh, I guess that would be the space age technology. Last one. Bears high fiving. They don't have that one here. Uh, 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 uh I guess. The... Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare. Thank you. To, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. By the way, that exercise we just did, <laughs> I have nothing to actually tell if that's real. Um, okay, so the thing about it is is that a lot of these I don't need. Um, uh, speech, I do. Uh, unarmed, I do. Obviously, I need unarmed. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, if you're fighting without a weapon, or with weapons designed for hand-to-hand -hand combat, yeah, it's... So I need unarmed. Uh, taking speech, I gotta I gotta get speech up there pretty quick. Uh, that's gonna help with some encounters that I can not fight my way out of. And I'm gonna take sneak. Higher your sneak skill, the easier it is to remain undetected. Steal an item or pick someone's pocket. Successfully attacking while undetected grants an automatic hit. So sneak might end up being useful. Unarmed and speech. Those are pretty much, by the way. If you look at this, the only things that are going to be useful to me. I don't need barter because I don't uh, because I can't have caps. Obviously, energy weapons, explosives, guns, melee weapon. Uh, th th these all uh, survival is mostly so you can cook uh, food and drink. Not gonna be a thing for me. Medicine would help with stims and radix. I don't get those lockpicks. I'd need a lockpick. Repair. Again, it's none of these end up being useful to me. In fact, these are probably the only skills that are really going to be um, pertinent at all. So anyway, we're done here. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. Ah. Uh, form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Okay. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Well. No. You'd be surprised. You didn't know my pa. Um, okay, so uh, four eyes I obviously can't take. The thing that's interesting here is that, again, it's going to limit your um, choices for traits because, like, a lot of these are not very good. Like, if, if I'm indoors and I take claustrophobia, some of my stats are zero. So that's not great. Um... It, uh, actually, early bird is kind of useful. You get plus two to your special stats. But since it's kind of like a min-max thing, your stats don't go above ten anyway. So it, a lot of these are not going to be very useful. Now, uh, melee and unarmed attacks do more damage, but less critical hit damage. See, that might actually be useful for me. Because uh, critical hits, I'm probably not going to be landing so much, but at least it means I'm going to be doing some more. Hoarder is pointless. Uh, let's see, health drops below. Do, 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 do. I suffer two to agility. That's a big ask. That's a big ask. Um, oh yeah, kamikaze, also useful. You get uh, 10 action points, but you do get negative two to damage thresholds. 
Uh, skilled is a really good trait. In case you're ever looking at it and thinking, like, for a regular run especially, consider it, because you're, all you're doing is you're sacrificing a 10% reduction in your experience gained, which, once you reach your experience level cap, it doesn't matter anyway, so it doesn't matter if you're, uh, you know, gaining levels a little slower, but gaining five points to every one of your skills. Uh, just like a full array right up the bat. That's really great. Uh, small frame, I don't want to take because that's going to make it easier for my limbs to be crippled, and that is going to suck. Um, loose cannon, great if you had things to throw, but um, uh, but I'll never become addicted to chems. Very not great, honestly. Um, I can take wild wasteland, but that's just the fun thing to do. Uh, I think I'm going to take Kamikaze. Normally, I would take Wild Wasteland and you get some really great encounters and everything, but honestly, it's not really going to matter um, at all. Uh, oh, these are the ones where you sacrifice five for the other... I, again, if you're going to do that... In fact, I kind of want to take Skilled. No, because there's only three things I actually need. Uh, but it, the great thing about this is 10 to your action skills, negative 2 to your damage threshold, but my damage threshold is already 0. So, it's kind of, it, I, I don't, I, <laughs> it's not going to matter. So we're going to do heavy-handed so that my unarmed attacks do more damage, and we're going to do kamikaze so that I get some extra skill points, or action points, I should say. Do I? No. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to take Wild Wasteland instead. T ten, ten action points. I already have quite a few. I'm not going to need... I'm not going to need more. Uh, but do I? No, screw it. I want the extra action point. You never know if you're going to need it. Plus, I like the idea that now I have a negative two damage threshold. Okay. okay. I do suggest, if you are playing this game, you should absolutely play with, uh, you should absolutely play with, um, Wild Wasteland on, because there's so many great encounters. But, okay, so, here's the thing. All of this has to go away. All of you... This hurts me so much. I have to... I can't even have my canteen. But the thing about it is, is that your canteen only really matters if you have um, hardcore mode on. No weapon kits. Not going to matter. Yeah, okay. So, there we go. Everything is in the bin. Everything is in the bin. Oh, I should have saved after I did that. Okay, here we go. All right, hi Doc. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in? Oh no, you gave me more stuff. I know to look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it. A <sighs> I grew up in yes. one of them vaults he made before the war. We okay. All got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. Yeah. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. No, uh, I think I'm she good. Was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. I'm gonna thank don't you. Don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. I she can help you learn no, she can. for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. I remember Victor. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you Good come people. right back. I'll fix you up. But try right. not to get killed anymore. I'm not trying to make it a habit. And no, no, we're not going to do hardcore mode. If you try this on hardcore mode, let me know, but I... no. Because the problem is, is that the second you do that, then 
your limb gets crippled, that's just going to be crippled for the rest of the game. There is no way out of it after that. Um, okay, I'm going to get rid of boxing gloves. I don't need boxing gloves. Actually, the boxing gloves, I think, are going to be detrimental. I, th I, I actually think your fists by themselves do far better damage than the boxing gloves. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about. Vault 21. Yeah, but, uh, no. You're, I'm not going to... 18 whole bottle cap. No, I can't. Vow of poverty. Vow of poverty. Vow of poverty. So, just to give you an idea, I'm going to... What do I have? For okay. So, to be perfectly clear, let me look at items. All weapons fall. Thank you for letting me know. I'm just going to go through these because I know they're going to tell. Aid. Miscellaneous. No ammo. Yes, I know. So, as you can see... This is where we're starting off. I got nothing in my inventory. I've got zero caps. I have a negative two <laughs> damage threshold. <laughs> so everything hits me for full damage. But, because my endurance is at a tight, I have 300 hit points. And I am carrying absolutely zilch. Nothing. Nada. Okay. And thus... I'm going to save here before we go out into the world. And the fix is in, folks. Game was rigged from the start. Here we go. Out to the wild blue art. For speech? Oh, okay. I thought it was pretty high, but maybe it's not. One second. Hold it. I'll turn it up a little bit. Tell me, tell me if that's any better. I'm just gonna move that up, and maybe I'll just move the uh, the uh, the speakers down a little bit. I know the ambient noise has a tendency to be a little bit more, but uh, hopefully that will help. Uh, just let me know. Uh, oh, turn up the vol. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's not my volume, is it? You're not talking about my volume. My volume is probably okay. Volume for their speech. Wait a second. I can fix this. I know what I can do. Hold it. Uh, their volume for voice is all the way up, but I can turn. I can turn the uh, the main volume. Uh, yeah. All right. In-game dialogue, yeah. Not my mic. Yeah, no, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just turn the game audio up. Because the voice is already at max. Um, and I'll check the audio levels when I talk to somebody next time, and I'll see if that's okay. Okay. And... We are blinding... All right, yes, old world blues, and my level gap is five more. Happy trails to go to Zion, honest hearts like that a lot. The canyon wreckage, Ulysses. That's what I was talking about. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Victor and see how the uh, the voice sounds now. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Yeah. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. You mean the graveyard? It looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Uh, yeah. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. How many do I want to talk to? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... 
Uh, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Victor's so mysterious. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers... That's what my graphics card is! Happy trails! Gunrunner's Arsenal, yeah, a lot of high high end gear now and uh, that I can't afford. So there's that. Okay. Oh, Sierra Madre, yeah, dead money. Great. So here so eh 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 eh. So here we are. We're Russell Crowe. We're fighting around the world. Okay. Yeah, just getting my exercise here. Ugh, ugh. Can I punch this? Oh yeah, that sounds that that sounds good. That sounds real good. I'm gonna. I need you. I need everybody to be able to hear the uh, the, the amazing. Here, one second. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna. I really should have put effects. Oh. Effects a little higher. That way when I thwomp things, you can actually hear it. That's what I want. Okay, and back. And back. Alright. Save real quick while I'm here. So we can keep those settings. Okay. Now when I Oh yeah. Oh, oh. There, stop moving. Stop moving, sign. No, that's not how signs work. Anyone ever notice that the, the prospector saloon sign actually does not obey the laws of physics? There's no, there's no wind. It just does that. It just swings back and forth endlessly. There might be a little motor in there or something. Um, okay, so I'm not going to talk to the folks around here because that's going to become a whole thing. Uh, well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll go in real quick. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Uh, I need to get to Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Mm. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. Yeah. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. Now here's... You never know who you'll run into. Now here's a question. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Yeah, that's the question I have. Um, no, don't give me caps. I'm not gonna... Uh, yeah, just... Until goodbye. next time. Yeah, don't, don't give me caps. I don't want caps. Uh, now this is the question that I have, and maybe maybe Alex can tell me what uh, what he suggested. I could do the route that you're supposed to take. That takes me kind of uh, around and up, uh, or I could try to just cut out the middleman and go straight to New Vegas, which I which I could attempt. Um. I don't know if that's such a great idea, but this vow of poverty is hey the there. hardest. This is the hardest thing in a um, in an RPG for me to say. No, I am not going to go and loot everything. I can't. It's 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 way harder than you think, folks. You don't know how much you just want to. There's there is an inherent drive I have to open up everything, and I'm not going to be able to do it. Not on this one. Oh, computer skill might still be helpful, because I could still hack into stuff, right? I don't need equipment for that. That's just me interacting with the environment. I could be a, a hacking D&D &D monk. So it's like Shadowrun at that point. Whatever I think would make it more interesting. Oh, well, I know what would make it more interesting. So, okay. Um. Alright, so here's... Here is where our path diverges. Let me see if I can find the road. So, 
there's there's a whole quest line that goes into uh, people probably know this already. There's a whole quest line that goes into this about like trying to save the town and the Wild West gun shooting and all of that good stuff and that's that's all fine and great. But um, what I'm thinking is let me just take a gander at my world map where okay there's the cemetery and okay this thing goes up okay so for people who are not as familiar with the game you have a few options here now the way they want you to go which is probably advisable honestly is to go down here past prim go to that's where you would start old world blues Go past uh, Canton up this way and then go to New Vegas. You can also, if you hate yourself, go <laughs> go go this way past like uh, Black Mountain through a whole lot of uh, Cazadors and Death Claws and other things that could probably kill you immediately could also do that um honestly uh, that may be really hard but i think what i'll do i'll get out to the main road here and uh and and i'll save and i will just to see i will try to take the path north i have a feeling i'm not going to get very far with it um because the way I probably should go to show you, you know, the actual way, and I know that there's going to be stuff along the way, is to, to go south. But at any rate, let's just pop out of here for a second. I'm going to get back onto the road. Oh, actually, I could take this right over if I'm going to go this way. I could go this way. Okay, so, all right. We're going to start by just doing a save, because this is where our paths diverge. And we are going to see what happens when I try to head straight toward... Oh, actually, make this a little bit easier on me. New Vegas should be right here. Can I place a marker? Just so I can keep an idea on where I'm going. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm going to run into some trouble very, very quickly, I can tell. Okay. Okay. Here we go. And I'm going to try to just follow that marker. Just to see what happens. Now, there are a lot of different... Uh-oh. Here we go. Do I need to change anything? No, we're good. Okay. Okay. It. This is where... Yeah. Get, die. Die, coyote. There we go. Oh, oh no. Another coyote. Another coyote. No. No. There. Okay. See? Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not even at half health right now. And, uh, and I have vats. The one thing I do have to remember, if your unarmed gets up to, like, 50, you start to get some special, uh, special skill. Ooh! Ooh, is this a place I might be able to rest? I'm gonna go into this cabin. I'm going to go into this cabin. And it's E to open the abandoned shack. Okay. Can I rest in the bed? Hey, look. Okay. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. Good. This is this is uh this is going well. Boy, I'd love to open that first aid kit or take these scrap electronics or activate the workbench or take this lovely nine iron that would be real helpful <sighs> I feel like I'm <laughs> getting that RPG itch oh man mmm a little familiar itch oh no don't do it Nathan don't pick up anything I haven't picked up anything, right? I haven't, a I haven't accidentally picked things up. 
Okay, I haven't picked up anything. Okay. Now, that's... Yes. Oh, is this where, uh... Oh, is this Brotherhood of Steel territory? Is that what that fence is? I'm trying to go... Where am I going here? Yangtze Memorial, okay. Ooh, what's that? Oh, is that the prison? I don't want to go near that, do I? Is that the prison? That looks like it's probably... Oh, yeah, no, we don't want to go near that. No, that's just... I'm going to get shot to all hell if I go there. Um. Alright, so I don't want to go... I don't want to go there. Oh, is it? Wait a second, is it? Oh, no, I think I know exactly what that is. I think that might be the... Oh, wait, that's Prim. Did I get turned around? Where am I going? I'm going this way. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Come on. That's the Yangtze Memorial. Okay. I gotta go over Hill and Dale here. Okay, this is where we're going. Black Mountain, yes. Just keep an eye out for where Black Mountain is. Oh, damn. There are probably people that have played this game that when you see a crane like that, you know inherently this is probably a bad idea. Because <laughs> what what my natural inclination is... Okay, so there's Black Mountain. There's there's the quarry. Um, that's, the pr that's the prison. I think? Yeah, that's the prison. That's, that's Prim. But I'm not going in the area of Prim. Okay, so... Okay, so this is really where my road diverges. Oh no, what happened to the Brahmin? Oh no! Oh no, Mr. Brahmin! You're just... You're just gone. You're just gone. Okay, so... Okay, so this is really where my path diverges. So I'm gonna save here. On save 10. Great, great number for me to remember this by. Okay. So what the game really wants me to do is go this way. Okay. I'm going to go over toward Prim and there's some nasty looking dude right there. That's what the game wants me to do. And what I probably should do. However, I am not a smart person. So I'm going to go this way. Oh, what's that? Is that a... Is that a puppy? Is that a puppy? Looks like a puppy. Don't touch me, puppy. Okay, what are you? Hi. What are you two doing? You two hanging out? Hi. Never gets old when something blows up. Oh, technically they have no reason to attack me because I haven't interacted with the Powder Gangers. It's kind of funny that, like, the Powder Gangers are just like, Yeah, whatever, dude. Everything's fine. I haven't interacted with them. I have no relationship to them. So they're like, yeah, whatever. Um, this is going to be very, very scary for me because... I think everybody knows exactly what this area is. But if you don't, feel free to guess. Um, anybody who's ever watched Mitten Squad knows exactly what this area is. A place you don't really want to go. Oh, I could meet Snuffles while I'm over here. This is Canton, right? Can't believe anyone actually made it through from the north, what with all the death claws at the quarry. You returning from New Vegas? Uh, no, actually, uh, what can you tell me about I've been there once, and I don't recommend it. It's just a way to burn through a month's pay in five minutes. I've seen a lot of folks come through here thinking they'll have the easy life once they get there. It never happens. They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. 
We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks, but now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show, and my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. Sounds pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, have sure. I'll take care of your death claw problem. They're taller than a man and far, far stronger and faster. And no problem. There's a whole pack of them out there. <laughs> We're good. You have to be the meanest, toughest, roughest bastard in the wasteland to have any chance against them, and I don't think that's you. Let's go punch you need a to death take claw. Out pack leaders, a mother death claw, and the death claw alpha male. Easy. Kill them, and the pack will scatter. Sure. Pretty tough job. I got it. I I got you. I got you. Okay. I got you. If you insist. Okay, I got you. I got you. This is this is a good idea. This is a good idea. I am going to I am going to punch a death claw in Did that death claw just roll over and die? Did anyone see that? <laughs> is he just laying down on the job? This is the point where uh yeah, might be a smart idea, just... I do not expect this to go well. At all. <laughs> this is... This is not going to be a good idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hi. Okay, ready? We're vatting it. Vatting it, okay. Yeah, okay. So, in vats... Just... I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna see if this works. Pop. Bam. Bam. Well, that was that was less than impressive. Okay. Just punch him in the face. Punch him in the face. Punch. Punch the death claw in the face. Okay. So, just for the record, uh, I don't think in this particular run I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to attack death claws. I'm gonna have to run away now. I'm gonna have to run away because a young death claw. Is, uh oh. Um. This doesn't look. This 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 does not look like it's going to end well. My health is very very low right now, and uh oh. There's another. There's another death claw. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay. Yeah. No. I'm dead. That 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 uh. That that does not work. Just for the record, that does that does not work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Alex, I I <laughs> I do I do appreciate your yeah yeah no F is definitely the correct response to that. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's plenty of things that I'll be able to hit with effectiveness in this game, but that is not one of them. Um, and there are death claws everywhere. Okay, um, yeah. So, I tell you what, folks, why don't we go to Prim? <laughs> this is <clears throat> why don't we go to Prim? Actually, you know what I'll do is just to save ourselves some time, I'll go back to, uh, what was it, the, uh, I'll go back to 10. Just to save ourselves some time where I where I had the uh, the road diverged in the woods or 11 11 yeah yeah I'll just I'll, I'll just go I'll just go back to 11 and uh, yeah okay so so that was not a great idea let's yeah it's almost like level one you shouldn't fight death claws yeah no I'm level one with no equipment and that's, uh, yeah, that doesn't work very well. I don't even know if, if I was legitimately level 50, uh, if it would have been such a good idea, because I'm sure they would assume... The one th nice thing, though, to make it clear, is since Death Claws ignore your damage threshold, it actually doesn't matter if I'm not wearing equipment. Um, the weapon, yes. But my equipment, it wouldn't matter because the damage threshold is useless. But here's a bloat fly. And actually, as you can see, not a problem. I can do bloat flies without an issue. Here's another bloat fly. 
I think I, if I just go around punching bloat flies, I'm in great shape. Actually, if I go into... Hold it a second. Hey, bloat fly. Hey, bloat fly. Hi. Hi, are you my friend? There. Yes, this is the vault tech assisted. Okay. I can't because it's too far away, so return. All right. There. I've got 5 I got 5 hit points. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm wondering if I can... Can I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Ready? This is gonna be cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Take it. Take it, you giant fly. There. Oh, uppercut. I knocked his wings off. That's fun. Any other bloat flies? Oh, here's another bloat fly. Yeah, this is... This is Luke with the training droid. Yeah, oh, oh, man. Oh, we're, yeah, critical strike. Oh, look at that. That's a haymaker. Sweet. Okay. See, this isn't so bad. This isn't so bad. We can do it. This is, this, this is gonna, this is a good idea. This is a good idea. Uh, I do happen to know that this way there is, okay, so that kind of stuff right there, I am going to have to avoid like the plague because I can't get near anything at all that might be radioactive. Nothing radioactive. Because I'm pretty sure when I start taking rad damage, I am going to be in trouble. Okay. Uh-oh. What's... What's trying to attack? Uh-oh. No, no, no. Not rads. Not rads. That's the last thing I need. There's something... I think there's something you can do that takes away rad. I have to look that up. These geckos are just all over the place. Hi, gecko. Bye, gecko. Let's just see if I can get to... There's a rad roach. Oh, cool. There's a rad roach and a... Boy, that was, that was fast. Okay. If I can avoid attacking all of these things, I think that's just in my best interest. I feel like that's just in my best interest. Let's go to Prim. And we're going to meet some friendly friends. The NCR friendly friends. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Places? Prim's off limits. Uh, what's going on, some Prim? convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Mm -hmm. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Yeah, but if I head back up to Good Springs, the game... The game basically doesn't happen. Shouldn't you be protecting the town or We'd something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Oh, okay. Why? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You I should got talk hands. to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the I'm west Kung side Fu of the fighting. if you don't want to get shot. I would very much not like to get shot. Oh, what, what, what's happening? What's happening? You look, oh, you look like you were in distress there for a minute. Okay, never mind. All right, here we go. Here we go. Into town. Strolling into town. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Eye of the tiger. All right. Here we go. Eye of the Tiger. Um, okay, so I happen to know that there is indeed a bed 
right here. So I think we'll just we'll sleep for an hour. Get my auto save, and then uh, we'll go talk to Lieutenant Hayes. Why not? Maybe I'll get some experience. I could definitely use it. <laughs> You're not Lieutenant right. Hayes. You're Sergeant McGee. Lieutenant Hayes is in here. All right. Here's here's here. Hi. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, Fifth Battalion, First Company. I've heard about. What's you. your business? Uh, we were sent out here to hold back any? the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. You're As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. Thanks for admitting it. The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. Uh -huh. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Mm. Um. Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, mm. the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Uh, okay. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And I've been ransacking the area since then. So, so just thought process. So you have no jurisdiction over Prim, but you had jurisdiction over the correctional facility whose convicts escaped and are now taking over the town. But you can't do anything about that. Okay, great. I have some... Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, no... That's great. We have no jurisdiction over the town. We technically had jurisdiction over all the convicts that have taken over the town, but there's nothing we can do about that. Okay. Okay. It is, it is interesting because you do start to realize how ineffective the NCR is at doing literally anything as the more and more you play this game. We're not going to go to Prim. I, um... No. No, see, the thing is, I'd love to go to Prim, but... Oh, no! Okay. Well, I think that that tells me everything I need to know. Oh, I could probably get into Prim from the other side if I wanted to talk to some of the townspeople. I feel like my duty as a, you know, as a warrior of good here would be to try and help out the poor unfortunate souls here. But there is, of course, the inherent problem that I'm sure everyone is aware of. I, 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 I will probably die very quickly. How do I crouch? It's always a good question. I want to say that it would be the C button, but it doesn't appear to be the C button. Do, do, do. Shift. Shift lets me walk. Okay. Control. Ah, okay. Control. That's my button. Um, okay. Tell you what. We're going to try an experiment. We're going to try an experiment. We're going to go into Prim. And I'm going to see if maybe I can sneak up on some of the... Uh, on some of the undesirables in here. And uh, see if I can... See if I can do anything about them. Let's see. We're hidden. Great. One nice thing, too, I'm starting to realize is that without any of the equipment holding you back, it should be easier to do stealth... Because I believe that all factors in. Um, but I, I... I don't know. I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. But let's just see here. If I can... Okay, there's a bad dude. Okay, so there's a bad dude. Okay, that bad dude... Okay, that bad dude saw me immediately. So, let's see here. Okay, let's just see if I can... Okay, yeah, it's... That's not nearly as effective as I want it to be. That's annoying. Okay, no! Just, yeah, haymaker! I'm just giving you haymakers all day long. I know my health is low. Come on. How are you gaining health?! How are you gaining health back? 
No! No! You're gaining health? No! That's not fair! How are you gaining health back? Why? No! No! Well, Prim, you're on your own. Moving on. I'm not going to talk to Sunny Smiles. I already did. She can only help me with shooting. She can only help me with shooting. Uh, okay. So we are gonna go and just deal with the other problem. Alright. Let's deal with the other problem. In case anyone's wondering what that other problem is. It is going to be that we have to go through this whole area and, uh, Okay. See these people? These are not nice people. These are the kinds of people who are probably going to have a problem with me if I get in their way. But we're going to put up our fists and I'm going to see if I can't take them out. Okay? Oh, yes! Please tell me someone saw that. Please tell me someone saw how great that was. What difficulty are you on? Normal. This is just normal difficulty. Nothing special. But come on, that was pretty sweet, right? That was pretty sweet. What difficulty? Actually, I can I can show you what difficulty in gameplay. It is normal difficulty right there. Normal difficulty. Nothing special. No, I did not set this down to very easy or anything. It's not. It's it's just the normal difficulty that you normally play. I'm not going hard. I'm not doing the hard. Someone who hates themselves would try this on hardcore mode on a very hard difficulty setting. And they would regret it. I really do believe that. They would, um... They would be, uh, smashing their head against the dashboard. As it stands, this is enough of a challenge for me. I'm gonna go up to the ranger station. Yeah, I know. The sneak attack was great. I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Things are really looking up for me. Uh-oh. Something's... Oh, no! Oh, that can't be good. That can't be good. Um... I don't think that's gonna end well for me, so let me see if I could just... I'll put down my fists so that I can run faster. You can chase me as much as you want, but I'm going to go up to the ranger station. Up to the ranger station we go. Are you still chasing me? Okay, they decided that it wasn't worth their time. I don't think a rad scorpion is exactly what I want to deal with right now. Some basic... Some of these basic Viper Mercenaries and Bloat Flies, I think, were fine for level 1, but I, I'd rather not. They're also probably assuming that by the time you get here, you're at least level 2, because um, you'd have done the stuff in Good Springs and do, done the stuff in Prim, but I really, I really can't do that. So Here's this lovely monument. 2271, Desert Rangers of Nevada and Rangers from the New California Republic meant to sign the Ranger Unification Treaty. There's a lot of Rangers. Desert Rangers agreed to be absorbed into the NCR in exchange for the protection of Hoover Dam, New Vegas, and Southern Nevada against the forces of Seasons Legion. And they've been doing a... Well, they've been doing a job. Uh, okay, so this is the Mojave Outpost. Always good to get here. Um... This actually gives us a chance to rest. Uh, where? Wait, where are you going? 
What? What's up? What's happening? Where are you going? What are you doing? What? Howdy. Yeah, howdy. Where? Where are you going? I get the feeling that when I eventually get out of this Mojave outpost, um, they are going to be dead. Okay. Who are you? You're a mercenary. Okay. Just gonna go to the barracks. And, hello. Ooh, you look fun. You ghost? Oh, Ranger Ghost, yeah. I can talk to <laughs> Ranger Ghost. Heard your footsteps coming up the ramp. Didn't sound like a trooper or one of the merchant. You a courier? Yes. If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. Yeah, sure. You a you courier? Want? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. Yes, we, we, we already talked about that. Um, depends on the I work. think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. I don't want to... Okay, I'll do all it. All right. But... Look at you. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. Yeah, let's Listen, just go into the Nipton... I might be able to do this. That. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears. Not your life. Good, all because... Right? Good, uh, yes, uh... Kimball's Kimball. Not sure which end is his ass or his head. Caravan families are causing trouble. Big circle getting tense. The usual. Look, you want gossip? Go to the bar downstairs and listen to a whole lot of nothing. Me? I gotta keep watch. Then fill out the daily log. Riveting. Mind yourself on the plank going down. You're not on the plank. But okay, well, let's go to the outpost here. Hello. And uh, I can't buy anything. And there's Cass. But I'm not going to need companions for this. I will, however, sleep in one of your lovely beds, please. Okay. Oh yeah, I figured it would be disingenuous if I actually had companions for this, too, so... Another reason why Charisma was a dump stat for me. Uh, so anyway, back out we go. We're on lovely Highway Interstate 15, out here in the lovely New Vegas. Big sky country. Big sky. We're going to go to Nipton. Because reasons. Yeah, the uh, the problem with going up the other way is, as you can see, I was going to run into death claws immediately, and also uh, powder gangers, which are also going to be a problem. And then, of course, casadors. Casadors are hell. They are literal hell. If I can avoid them altogether, I would very much like to do that. Um. Yeah, I, I have no interest in dealing with Kazdor. Uh, they, are, they are not nice. I don't like to use harsh language like that, but they are not nice. Kazdors are what happens when you take a, uh, a tarantula hawk wasp and a bunch of brains in jars, decide to use them to create uh, a monster, and I don't know if that thing's alive or dead. It looks like it might be dead. Hello? Are you dead? Oh, you are dead. The ants killed it! I'm sticking close to you. You folks are... You... You... you, you Ants are good people. You took care of that big old rad scorpion for me. I appreciate that. I duly appreciate that. 
Can I punch the crow? Hey, Mr. Crow. Uh, oh, man. Oh, no. Uh-oh. This, this doesn't look like it's going to end well for me. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, run away. Run, run away. Run away. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, I guess I gotta keep a wide berth from the 50 freaking... Alright. So... So I guess what I'll do... Are they over here too? Are they over here too? No. Okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, they are. No! Stop! Dodge and weave, everybody. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. If I can get to Nipton, actually, um... Who are you? Who are you? Are you a thing? Are you a person? Are you going to help me? Or are you going to also be terrible? Oh, you are also an enemy combatant. Okay. Where are you going? Leave me alone! Oh, oh are they attacking the ants now? I think they're attacking the ants. I just want to get to Nipton. <laughs> Is that so much to ask? Somebody is very happy to see me. Hello. Whoa! Or not. Hey, wait. Wait. Wait, dude. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> uh, Are you kidding me? What? Never felt better. Yeah! You powder ganger? Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. Okay. Not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner! I won the motherfucking lottery! <laughs> what sort of lottery? What lottery? The lottery, that's what lottery. Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters. Oh, oh my god, smell that air! <laughs> I don't like this guy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I have the best day of my life. Bye. Now, now I don't really want to leave town quite yet, but I am kind of curious. I feel like he is going to end up running into some real trouble that I just ran through. See all these people down here. What, what, what's wrong, Oliver? He's just... He's just hiding. He's just hiding. No one's going to attack him. Gee, that must be nice. Anywho. Save, please. See what my interaction with Caesar's Legion is going to be. I get the feeling that they're probably not going to want to see me. Okay. Alright, so... It would be a really bad idea, a really bad idea, to just start hitting Vulpus. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, 
When you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here. Especially any NCR troops you run across. Uh, and the lesson? Where to begin? That they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. All right. What Nipton happened? Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Sounds Profligate pretty great. Troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. For a pittance, the okay. town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it, too. I wish I had that hat. It looks so real. You captured everyone? Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. Mm. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each yeah, I heard about that. his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing. Even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. I, I, yeah, I admire it. No, you... you <laughs> Innocent. Hardly. Cowardly, though. They I could punch us. you. Yet not once did they try to resist. I could punch you. They stood and watched as their fellows were butchered, I could crucified, punch you. and burned. One by one. I wonder they what stood happens and if hoped I punch their turn would not come. Each cared only for himself. I bet I could punch him real good. Yeah, your crimes as are unforgivable. Are all crimes. If you feel strongly about it, attack us, and soon you won't feel a thing. This is a bad idea. Hey, Vulpus! Hey, Vulpy! This, this, this is a terrible idea. Oh. <laughs> This, 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 this. That did not work. That did not work. Okay, so I can't. Okay, so I can't attack Caesar. I can't attack Caesar's Legion. Alright, well, what I can do though is I can. Gets, I, I can get a little bit of, um, I can get a little bit of, uh, cloud here. I can go and talk to Ranger Rick here. Ghost, Ranger, Ranger Rick Ghost. Uh, and, um, and Ranger Ghost can give me a little bit of XP. You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Yeah, Nipton was attacked. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. Uh, That's I was not there. outside the border. They're moving in, and fast. Yeah. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... <sighs> Alright, thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. Did in Nipton? Hear? Hell no. Town was a shithole, asking to be burned. Just not by Legion. Nobody deserves that. Poor well, Nipton. thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. No Wish one we could likes spare the Nipton. troops to go hunting, but orders are to stay put. Okay. Fucking Mojave's going to hell, and all I can do is sit here and watch. I know. Oh, hey, look at what we got, though. That's enough that I can actually level up. Hey, everybody. I can finally level up. Okay, I have how many skill points? Thirteen. Okay, so the thing I need to do is I need to get my unarmed up to 50. Okay. Um, and I would really like to get speech up to 25. I'm sure that's going to be very useful. What do I have for... Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. H rank is swift. You gain an additional 10% in experience. 
Um, retention would be great for skill magazines. I don't have that. Uh, Sachet La Femme. Uh, actually, these are probably going to be pretty useful. Uh, Black Widow and uh, Sachet La Femme, because that's going to give me an extra 10% damage against female opponents and male opponents, and also give me some extra options. I'm going to take Black Widow. I think that might be helpful for me. We won't go quietly. Legion can count on that. Now the reason I wanted to get my unarmed skill up to 50 is because when you hit the when you hit those marks, they open up some extra um, some extra options for you. Uh, and um, uh, in vats, in vats, you'll actually have some additional options here. Uh. Okay, so, uh, do, 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 all right, let's see what we got here. Uh, moving right along now that we're level two, welcome to Nevada. Lovely town. Okay, um, this is going to get me to one of my favorite towns. Does anybody know what my favorite town in New Vegas is? I'll give you a hint. Dinky the Dinosaur. You do have to be careful on these roads, though, because... Uh-oh. I heard... I heard someone. There are going to be some uh, traps, if I remember correctly. They are, they are hard to spot. I'm going to try to go around. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Luna. Oh no! This is... Okay, you know what? What a great time to try out my new uppercut move! Uppercut! Rocky 4! Rocky 4, baby! That's right. Try that again, Drago. Oh, hey, there's Caesar's Legion. Hey, Vulpus. That's right. Now I can uppercut. Thank you, Unib Lunaboth, for following. Let's see here. We are... We are doing this. I am just... I'm just running away. Okay. We are running away now. But that was pretty good. Yeah, now I can do uppercuts. Uppercuts are incredibly useful. As you can tell. Something I think I'm going to come across... I think there's a nice little place for me to rest up here. A tumble! Okay, there should be a nice place for me to rest, actually. I think right up... Is it here? I want to say it's here. Yes, yes, yes. That's the wolf... Uh, I believe that's Wolf Ranch. I should be able to rest here. I think, uh, I think, I think, I think, I think. This is one of my favorite. Is this Wolf? Wolfhorn Ranch, yes, absolutely. Terrific, terrific, yeah. Wolfhorn Ranch is a really great little out-of-the-way destination. It's not something most people know about most of the time, but, yeah, I have a free bed that I can sleep in. And, uh, normally, this is also a really great place to find supplies. Speaking of which, uh, I didn't end up accidentally picking up anything, right? No. No, I still have nothing here. I did get some extra, um, some extra hit points for leveling up. A whole five. I'm, I'm not going to spend them all in one place here. All right. Now, I'm a bit concerned because if I remember correctly, there are two ways I could do this, and there were probably going to be some Night Stalkers? 
I'm kind of concerned about Night Stalkers. There's this lovely caravan that I feel like sticking pretty close to. That road is... That should be the road I want to take. Right? That's gonna go... Yeah, more or less. I could take that road. I could take that road up. That should be... Yeah. I could take that road. I could take that road, I could take this road. Either way. Okay. So. Here we go. And up the road we go. There are, of course, Caesar's Legion. The reason I'm trying not to go and antagonize any of these groups right away is because that's going to suck. Uh, right now, they're just all neutral. This gets incredibly hard once I start taking sides. Like, for instance, this is a... looks like an NCR trooper. Don't go too far over there, NCR Trooper. Caesar's Legion's over there. Alright. Here we go. Doopy doo. Down a bit. Should be hitting the NCR outpost fairly soon. What's that up there? Don't get distracted. Don't. Ah! Oh, okay. Who was that? Oh, a viper, okay. Who's over there? I don't actually know. Well, come to think of it, I actually don't know what this is. Looks like a tunnel. Are these good? Oh, no, those are not, those are not friends. Okay, nope, 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 that's, those are not friends. Hey, hey, Caesar's Legion? Hey, guys? Hey, guys? Could you help a brother out here? Uh... Yeah, no, they okay, okay, yeah, no, I, I don't think I want to go there. Alright, oh, yeah, yeah, NCR Ranger Outpost. Hey, Ranger Outpost? Hey. hey. Hey, yeah, okay, 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 yeah, okay, great, yeah. Why don't you two attack each other? Oh my, okay. Okay, you know what? I can take one of these. I, I can take one of you. Yeah, that's right. Hopefully I don't die before... Th oh, okay. Well, that works. Okay, okay. We're... Yeah, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna see if I can hide behind a tree. Hiding behind a tree. Nope. I'm going into the... I'm going into the ranger outpost. Yep, you... Yeah, you... You have fun out there. Okay. All right. So, how's all of your day going? Um, what's my health right now? Eleven. Okay, great. Great. It's eleven. Yeah, um, can I sleep in a bed? Thank you. Okay, great. Sleep in a bed. Or else you're dead. Good rule of thumb. Alright. Great. So. So that went well. One thing I am noticing is that when I don't have to worry about things like picking everything up. Uh, yeah, I don't have to do anything about inventory management, which is great. 
And then also, um, boy, it takes less time. You know what would be just a fun idea? I'm not going to do it, but if you didn't care too much about, like, um, going into the game code, and you just wanted to make your unarmed damage, like, really high, do this, like, one punch man. And just, like, you're, like, if you could get up to anybody, one punch, and they are dead. But you have to, like, try to fight everyone. That would be, that would be something else. I'm not going to do that, um... Because, uh, if, if I just set my unarmed damage to, like, a million, it's gonna feel like cheating. Because it is. Uh, okay. So, this is Novak. I love Novak. One of the reasons why I love Novak while we're seeing the sights here in New Vegas is this is Dinky the Dinosaur. This is Dinky. Dinky holds the little motel sign to tell you what temperature it apparently is. This does not look like a legitimate working thermometer, to be honest with you. But you know, to each his own. Um, now, oh, here's Victor. We'll talk to Victor real quick. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. If I don't want to do that. Friend from Good Springs. I definitely don't want to do that. Don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Yeah. Uh, so what's the story with this place? Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose. But between you and me, when I rolled into town, my skin started to itch. Watch yourself. I... I don't know if it's possible to watch yourself. You said the men that jumped me were heading this way. No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Uh, nice to see you for the face. Likewise, friend. Likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Cowboy robot. Uh, I could use a well, bed. This ain't New Vegas, but I reckon you can find what you need here. Um. BC. Okay, so there is one thing. Oh, I'm wondering if I can. There's a special ranger takedown move. Boone. No offense. But I need to focus on getting more rest when I'm off duty. I'm not sleeping so good. If you want to talk, catch me when I'm on duty. I'm up at the dinosaur after 9 p.m. Yeah. Good talk, Boone. Cliff Briscoe's bungalow. Yes. Uh. These 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 dinosaurs are They're looking at me weird. They're looking at me weird. I'll just say that the like the one thing I can pick up is just I'll just pick up Dinky the dinosaur. Ranger Andy. I need to talk to Ranger Andy. Hi, Ranger Andy. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Okay. Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still yeah. like to pretend I'm a ranger though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Cool. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple of days. NCR sounds better and better the more you learn about them. Talk, but it's still got me a little worried. Okay. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Uh, station full of rangers ought to be able yeah, to handle themselves. Who am I kidding? It's funny, you get stuck in your room for a few weeks, and you start to worry the world's gonna fall apart without you. Mm. Those guys are fine. They don't need me looking over their shoulders. Yeah, but, uh... Oh, yeah, I'm looking for the no, guy in the checkered coat. No, I've been coat. laid up for a while now. Haven't been able to keep an eye on things like usual. It's a small town, though. I'm sure, sure someone would have noticed somebody like that if they came this way. Okay. Um, yeah, tell me about the They're Rangers. the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. I just you got a saw job them get thinking shot. about it with Scare Man Senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. Ooh, the black. Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I'm ready to get I help the keep fight. the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. You are Ranger Andy. 
Okay, wait. Did you do yeah, something to your leg? Twice. Actually, the first time it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. Uh, what happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. Is that how they say clicks? We get with there a and it's deserted. Mm -hmm. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. Uh -oh. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Mm. Been hiding in a closet. What did you do? I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Uh, shoot. My speech is not high enough to actually do this. I'm sure it was very inspiring. <laughs> uh, maybe... Hey, uh, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Sure. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna go do that because I don't remember what the requirement is here. Um, yeah, uh, but there's something I really do want from Ranger Andy. So back to Ranger Charlie Station. Just I'm not gonna stay here long. You gotta be very careful. See that? Ow. Okay. Uh, we'll take the. Yeah, I don't have. I don't have anything. Um, but what did I did I pick up an audio log? Where's my audio logs? I should have an audio log. Miscellaneous. This is a message to the NCR from the Legion. We are coming for you. Run, and we will catch you. Hide, and we will find you. No matter what you do, you are all going to die. We took one of the women alive. Uh, uh oh. Okay. There's another audio log, I think. You gotta be careful of these things. Is that the spring? Ugh. How do I get over this thing? Uh, there's... There's another audio log. I can't pick these up, but at least I can disarm it. Yeah, I'll disarm it. That is, uh, yeah, I need to get over that. Whee! Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. That's, that, by the way, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can't just... Okay. Let's go and... Uh. Oh, there's there's Ranger Station Log One. Okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I know. Throw the Raiders off. No casualties. In the meantime, patrols back. They're late. I hope they got a good excuse. What took? This is a message to the NCR from the This is a message to the NCR from the Legion. All we right. are coming for you. Yeah. Run and we will catch you. Hide and we will find you. No matter what you do, you are all going to die. We took one of the women alive. All right. Well, that's not great. Um That's not good. 
I'd really like to be able to sleep in a bed. That's what I'd like to do. <laughs> okay, we're, uh... We're gonna see if I can make this jump. I learned this lesson last. Okay, yep, yeah, well... For the record, I can't. I did not, I did not succeed. Um... Nope. But... Let's see here. But at least I can rest after I took that damage. I'll go and tell Andy. And the reason why I did this little jaunt is because I don't remember for surezies. But I believe this is all he needed in order to teach me something very valuable. I want to learn his ranger takedown. Who are you? You're a mercenary. I don't need the mercenary. Uh, back into Ranger Andy's bunk. Hi, Ray. Hey, You're Boston. always in Anywhere bed. On Station Charlie. I went to everyone's what? gone. What happened? Uh, members of Caesar's Legion. Ambush Those were them. good men at that station. Good men. This whole town was sleeping a lot easier because of them. I got some fame. Now, who knows what we're in for? The Legion? Christ. We'd be better off with raiders. Well, thanks oh, for telling yeah. me. I know that knowledge didn't come without risk. Tell you what, I'll pay for what you did, but I'll do you one better too. There's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off. That's right. Feet. Save my butt a bunch of times. Maybe it will for you too. Mm. Let me show you how it's done. Thank you. With a group of people in the wasteland. Yes, I have. I have done so. Folks have accepted my helpful nature in Novak. Thank you, Novak. Okay, so now I have to give this money to charity because that's the way <laughs> I have I have gotten money. They gave me money, but no, I can't. I have taken a vow of poverty. You, you I, can, I cannot accept your generous gift, but I the reason I wanted to do that was because now I got Ranger takedown. Ranger takedowns a very valuable move. It's going to help with, you know, the fact that I'm unarmed. Um, okay, so other things I don't need to do. I don't need to do fly me to the moon because that's not going to be helpful. So onward and upward. We are still plowing forward to try and uh, get to New Vegas. We are setting our sights firmly on New Vegas now. Past the junkyard, past Helios 1. Should I do... Gibson Strapyard, yeah. Should I deal with the... I don't think that's going to work out very well. Like, I'll discover Helios 1 because I, I would like to. But... I'm just telling you right now that I don't, I don't think, I bet hacking skill would be very useful in this game. Helios 1. Uh, you know what, we're not gonna, something to consider later, but right now I'm, my level is just way too low. Um, because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have to go into the building. And when I go into the building, I'm going to have to destroy a whole bunch of robots. Robots. Uh, I need better speech. I need I need better everything in order to do that. That sounded like a thing. That sounded... Okay, now we've got so many ants. Oh, there's a... There's a station over there, that's right. Oh, is this the road? Where is the road? I don't think this is the road. The mysterious, uh... Singer is over there, I believe. I want to say. Okay. Now hold on one second here. 
Hold on one second. So, I figure while I'm doing this, might as well see if I can discover places, because this is one of the best ways to get uh, some experience right now. This is actually one of the places I'll need to be discovering anyway, so might as well pass by it while I'm here. Now note, the thing that I'm really worried about is that I legitimately do not know how I am getting into New Vegas. That is something I'm trying to figure we out. Keep an eye out for Legion raiding parties. They'd love to shut down the Dura. Stay out of the control room and enclosure or there's going to be trouble. Got it? Got it? I'm just going to do that right this second and make you all upset with me. Hey. What? I'm not going in there. Don't worry about it, okay? Jeez. Reactionary much? Jeez. Okay. We are gonna go... Take a look over here. Also nice is that I don't have to worry about uh, trying to repair my equipment and my weaponry. So there's actually some real benefits to this. It simplifies your life. If you like the idea of basically doing kung fu, but in a video game, this is great. Just... This kind of reminds me a little bit of playing, like, Jade Empire. Actually. I don't have to worry about nothing. No weapons, no armaments, nothing. Alright, what is up here, though? You know the thing that I usually end up passing by? Ah, yeah, here we are. I can't tell you the number of times that I end up just straight up not hitting the, uh, the 144. Or the 188, sorry. Hey! I will talk to no Veronica. Offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Hell. Uh, the grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome Thank you, then. Felicia Day. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Uh -huh. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. Yeah. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Oh, you leave your family yeah, in a bunker. I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has okay. to get the groceries, know what I mean? Yeah. And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? On the level? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? <laughs> They're usually harmless unless you... Okay, my intelligence is high enough I can answer this. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Neither can hey, I. So, where are you headed, anyway? Uh, I'm headed for the strip. Ooh, very exciting. Gonna strike it rich, huh? No. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like she can really handle herself. Mm -hmm. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. Don't you have a family? Like be? I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. <laughs> uh... Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Yeah, you don't look. Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. 
Uh, Suit yourself. You can always change your mind. All right. See you around. Yeah. Great thing that I like about having Veronica is one that power gauntlet of hers. Oh boy, that hits. And then also uh, you can get her power armor. She'll wear power armor. Um. But no, remember, I'm a Ronin. I don't know what I am. I've taken a vow of poverty. Of <laughs> and uh, and I've determined that uh, I, I travel with nobody I'm a loner I feel like I'm a very healthy individual alright here we go again I don't want to go anywhere over there that would be a bad thing How can I deal with radiation damage? Actually, come to think of it, I think that there is a perk you can take where radiation damage will be diminished over time. I don't remember. Uh, we've, we've traveled for a little bit. I'm just going to save real quick. Um... If anyone knows what I'm thinking about, please let me... Uh, I don't remember what level you have to be at. I don't, I don't remember any of these things. But for some reason, I get... I, I remember something you can take that will slowly reduce... Oh, there's a few things that I guess will slowly reduce your radiation level. I'll have to invest in one of them when we, uh, when we get there. I am still, just for the record... A, a, a very paltry level 2. I have not really done anything, but I do have Ranger Takedown. So things are looking up. Is that Camp McCarran? I think that's Camp McCarran. I'm going to attempt to the Grub and Gulp Okay, I'm gonna go just get... Uh, oh, man. Oh, you know what I might have to do in order to get to the strip? I think I can do that, because... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so here's the thing. There are a couple ways you get into the strip. Alright? There... Are you can you can go through the main gate okay you have to pay money and obviously I don't have any money uh, you could try to hoof it or run through or anything like that but you can also get there through the tramway from NCR you can get it you can get it that way and uh, and in order to do that I'd have to do Camp McCarran so, um, I think I'm going to have to do the little side quest in Camp McCarran in order to get access to the tramway. That is the only way I can think of that I'm going to be able to bypass the money issue that I'm having. My vow of poverty. Uh-oh! There's a lot of shooting going on! Oh! Wait, I can help you out. Hold it. I I can I can help you. I can help you. I can help. I'm helpful. Uh, okay, never mind. I was going to try to be helpful. And if I happen to get experience in the meantime, that would have also been nice, but uh no, screw it. Fine. No, you, uh, you keep doing you. Where is the entrance? It's not over there. Oh, where is the entrance to Camp McCarran? I know that it's here somewhere. So, 
What? What? Is there someone over? Oh. Hey. Hi. Oh, okay. So I don't I don't get any credit for that. Great. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know my health is low. I was trying to help. I was trying to be helpful. All right, I'll go around this side. How you doing? Doing good? You're stan- Okay. You're, um... You- You're standing on... Air. Okay. Um... You know, it's fine. That's to- No, it's- It's okay. You're standing on air. It's a choice. Oh, uh, oh, the entrance is up here. It's, this is a big facility. All right. There's the tram. That's going to that's gonna have to be my way into Vegas. That is going to have to be my route into Vegas. All right. Here we go. All right. That is the... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do this. There we go. Nice little agricultural center. That's terrific. Where is the entrance? If I have passed by the entrance... Oh, I think they're passing by it right now. I know my health is low. There we are. Okay. Camp McCarran. There's the strip. I'd like to go in. I need to... This is the El Rey. While I'm here, I'm just gonna get ten... Just get some... Just get a little, just get a little experience there. Just get a little experience. Okay. Alright. So... The thing we're gonna have to do is discover what happened to the tram. This is a side mission we're gonna have to go on. And now, I'm gonna have to figure out how I initiate this. I'm gonna go into... Let's talk to some... Let's talk to some NCR folks. They always seem so approachable. The quest I'm looking for should be, I put a spell on you. And usually it's, uh... Sue... Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Is he down here? Okay. Ah, so, yep. I'm usually good with faces. But I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? I'm here to provide support. Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, mm. we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion oh, yeah, breathing just down watch on right. across the river. I'll walk right over there. We actually took an officer alive last week. But so far, he hasn't spoken a word. Oh, maybe I could do uh, any other problems? Yeah. On top of everything else, 
I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. This is what I wanted. Okay. You seem calm. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. I could look into who's mm. leaking intelligence. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. Sure. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. Mm. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements, and it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Mm -hmm. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent, but I think she's hit a wall. Okay. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Oh, uh, are things mostly quiet? Between Unfortunately, here? no. In fact, the word from the ranger stations has been especially concerning lately. It sounds like they've run into overwhelming resistance, and supplies just aren't reaching them. It's been so bad, I asked Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn hope to look into it, and see how it is that things could be so fouled up there. It's our main base. We took it because it lets us keep an eye on the Strip, and it had already been fortified before the Great War. Hmm. From here, we handle most of the logistics for our operations in Nevada. Troop allocation, supply distribution, intel. Usually, General Oliver runs the show here. But he's on his way to the dam now, so I've taken on a lot of his duties here. Ah, uh, yes, General Oliver. Okay. Bye. All right, General Oliver. Oh, you're not Oliver. You're the other dude. Okay. Well, other dude, I'm going to go up and speak to the... Uh, Oh, yeah, my health is still low. I gotta figure out what to do about that. But let's see here. I'm gonna see if I can't potentially knock out a couple quest lines to get some experience. Experience is something I desperately need. Something I desperately need. Here we go. Boyd's in there with a prisoner right now. Boy, is she pissed. I'm sure. Um, can I sleep in one of these beds? I can't even access these beds. Oh, wait. Maybe I can. Ha <laughs> ha! See, when in doubt, find a jail cell. No one cares if you sleep in there. Uh, okay. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? You stick out like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Always. Need any help? Sorry, this is state business, what I'm working on. You'd have to do a lot more NCR ass-kissing before they'd let you help me with this one. Who are you? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. <laughs> but you know how colonels can be. Yep, see you around. You're back. Sorry. Okay, yep. so... Apparently, you don't need any existence. Fine. Oh, maybe I need to have a better relationship with the NCR. Uh, okay. So, um, while I'm here, what's my quest log? I need to... Let's get that out of there and quest. So many quests now! I need to make that my active quest. Okay. Uh, where am I going? Down we go, and to and fro, and I think... Oh, how do I get to Curtis? 
How do you solve a problem like Commander Curtis? What's the easiest way to get there? Evening. Talking to these fine folks is just going to allow me to do the There Stands the Grass quest, if I remember correctly. Which will take you to the Vault 22. Can you tell I might have played this game a few times? Yep. Yeah. There we go. No, well, this isn't the way. This way. Okay. Alright, let's see here. These are the doors. Is this the door? That's the door. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Hi, Curtis. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Hi. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Sure. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Yeah. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. Great. Where should I start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised mm -hmm. of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Uh, okay. Well. Okay, yep, that's fine. Late. All right, so now... I got options here. Uh, I guess we'll start with Boyd. Maybe she'll be a little bit more... Accessible. No guarantees. But we can hope. Uh, oh, right, she's over here. Very easy to get turned around in this particular terminal. Alright, hello, NCR Trooper. Okay, boy. You're back. Okay, did this open up anything? Have you noticed anything suspicious? Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Tell me about break-ins. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. Ugh. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Can I have one? Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. Yep. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. Well, there's Anders. Yeah. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. Okay. Anyone else missing? Yeah. The man I'm more interested in is Corporal White. Who's White that? had a lot of promise. Wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. Uh... Let's Word around see. the bases, he'd been going regularly to visit a hooker named Dazzle at Gamora. That's a casino on the Strip. I've heard Classy that. place. Yeah. His belongings are up in the barracks in the concourse building. First bunk on your left if you're facing it from the center. I haven't had a chance to look through his things yet, so that might be a good place to begin. Uh, thefts. Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, I I usually... who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. I know what that is, But he's too is, slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. It's weird because I don't, uh, I, I didn't really know that that was, uh... I forgot you can get to that mission from this Good. Entry. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. <laughs> okay. Uh, what can you I don't know him very Anders? well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Oh, that Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. 
Uh, I just came from Shu. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see here. Um, all right. So. So. Uh, where is the control tower? Right, it should be over here. Okay, now I need to take stock real quick. This this route up is uh, is the way you get to the concourse. I think this is the way you get to the concourse. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to know that because if I remember correctly, we got a little bit of a timetable once we actually start this. Once we get this party started. Okay, let's see here. Alright. There is... Just trying to get bearings on where my gauge is here. Because... Where is the control tower? This is the control tower here. Alright. What time is it? Let me see here. Uh, time. Uh, it's almost... It's almost midnight. Starry, starry night. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, now that I've saved that, it actually turn. Uh, okay. Should be able to get in here. Uh, great. If, uh, trace. Great. Control log, please. Twelve oh five, enter. Twelve oh eight, exit. Twelve fourteen. Who is this? Shulman. Okay. Okay. Um, back. Oh, okay. I can just hit the power button. All right. So, now I actually want to say, I'm a level two renegade. I'm a renegade, everybody. Okay, so, let's see here, control, okay. I'm gonna use the key. Okay, it's too early. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna wait one hour. Okay, this is where sneaking happens. This is where sneaking happens. Quite remember what time I need to get in here. But we'll wait another hour. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, everybody, 
Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Alright, let's save here. Now I can save. <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh, good. Uh, I must Looper. be you. This is Frumentarius Picus. Over. Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10 4, Picus. Fiends will be alerted. Okay. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Picus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. 10 4. Keep us updated. 10 4. What are you doing here? You don't have clearance. I don't know what you mean. Hey! Had enough? It's Ronald Curtis. Okay. Uppercut. 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 Whoa! Oh. Well, that didn't... Not working. Okay, 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 okay. There. Uppercut. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, that that, that makes a suck for you. You like that? No, I don't. I'm just gonna do regular. Is this a ranger take? Can I do a ranger take down? Hit, hit, hit the head. You like that? It's not working. It's not working. Okay, I'm gonna have to try something different. New plan. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. I'm gonna go ahead to. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Picus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. Okay. Now I gotta go back in. Okay. Gotta go to... Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Okay. Alright. Get in here. And there should be a panel. Access panel. Uh oh. I need an explosives. Uh, this is not great. So I need an explosive skill, or I need science. What is what is my current skill? My explosives. Have, mm. My science is also not great. There, geesh, Kirby. Okay, so what I need to do... Uh, so I need the... Okay. So unfortunately, what that means... Lupa, this is Frumentarius Picus. Over. Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10 4, Picus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission? What are you doing here? You don't have. Really? I don't know what. Let's 
unfortunately, I think, what I need to do... Stop! Stop hitting me! Okay, now you're just being... Okay, fine. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave. Yeah, follow me. Come on. I think I need, since since my skills aren't high enough, I need to instead get them to... Come on. <laughs> Come on, Curtis. Had enough. Oh, shoot. I could have pickpocketed him. Wait, this might work. This might work. Hold it. Hold it. I think that this might work. Had enough. E. E. Pickpocket. No, just pickpocket him. It said I could. <sighs> I wish he wasn't standing right there. Okay, maybe. Okay, right, maybe. Okay. Okay. Back a second. Back a second. Okay. I'm going to try. Lupa. This is Frumentarius Picus. Over. Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon patrol enters Fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10-4, Picus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Picus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? A couple of minutes. Over. 10-4. Keep us updated. 10-4. What are you doing here? You oh don't... my god, you can you can see me from a mile away. Found you. All right. Okay. I, you I'm like gonna that? I'm gonna keep hitting your head. Yeah. It. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I forgot. There. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Go down. You are impossible. Oh, man, I really oh, oh, that that's cool. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, this is not good. Had enough. I don't I don't have skills to pay the bills for this one. Okay, so I need, I guess I need to have my science or uh, I guess I gotta put some... Go ahead, Picus. Afternoon patrolling. Okay, well... Uh... <laughs> okay, well, I guess I can't do that quite yet. I guess I can't do that quite yet. So I don't want to initiate that if I can't actually do anything about it. Um, well... <laughs> okay, well, in that case, I'm going to have to... Uh, I guess see if I can get into the strip? I guess. I do not have the ability. I don't have the skills necessary, and I can't grab the key off the guy. All right, so. Let's just go and see if we can get into the strip. Let's go through Freeside and let's see what we can do. And, um, see if there is anything that I can do that's going to work here. Uh, so, explosive skill. 
and science skill. Science skill I might be able to actually, I could see investing in. Science skill I could probably invest in because that's going to help with hacking. Explosive skill will help with disarming, but... While I'm going around, I figure I might as well see if we can just access anything. Or, if there's anything over here that I might be able to just set down as a landmark while I'm in the area. What is over here? You thought you could hide from me? Oh boy. Alright, so... You like the sight of your own This is, uh... This is not encouraging. Oh yeah! Ugh. Yeah! Yeah, that's right. Power, power attack. <laughs> yeah, you open like palm. No, I verifiably do not. Ugh. Ugh. You like the sight of your own Ugh. blood. Yeah, you want to try, try that again? No, try it again. Yeah, try it. You like the sight of your own blood? I might have to learn how to block here. Come on. Okay. Again, just just deal with the uppercuts. Oh my God! Why? Ooh. I don't know why you are having. You like the sight of your own blood? Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh my God! Man, I yeah. wish. I wish this at least, like. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. All right. Well. Run away! Sight of your own blood. Run away! Run away! Oh no! No! Now there's three of them! Why is there three of them now? You like the sight of your own blood? I don't know why anyone would like the sight of their own blood. All right, come on. Try me. H oh, shoot. So for the record, that didn't work. Um. Yeah, so that didn't work. Okay, what? <laughs> uh, it's Northern Passage. No, I just want to get into the strip. Let me just go to the grub. Let me go to the grub and hub. I'm just going to just get to the grub and hub. The grubby hub. And we'll go to the damn strip. Just go up here. Uh, okay. See if I can't just get into the strip. <sighs> See if I can't get into this place. Is there another way I can actually get into the strip? Either I can pay the fee at the front. I 
can get in there. I, I can get in if I just investigate the thing. I'd like to just investigate the thing, but I need to gain some levels. Some levels. I need levels. And unfortunately, right now, I do not have levels. I just need to improve a couple skills. And I currently do not have the capacity to do so. Alright. Onward and upward, everybody. Sharecropper Farms. Great. Alright. And away we go. Okay. Now. What are we gonna do? Where is the entrance here? Here we go. Here's the gun runners. Hello, Hello. gun runner. Welcome, sir or ma'am. All gun runner merchandise is constructed on site. Pretty great. This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. Mm hmm. I am ready to process. Yeah, what can I buy? I can't buy anything. I can't buy anything. Man. That's annoying. The thing, uh, thing that you will notice, just out of curiosity here, is if I did say, well, I was just going to be unarmored, but I, uh, maybe I want to actually still use, uh, armaments, uh, yeah, I could just use a power fist, or even, even better, way better, is there should be a shotgun fist. The shotgun fists are terrific. That would be... That's actually... that it's, it, it's almost too much power. It's almost too much power. Because... Yeah, weapons. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. The two-step goodbye. Yeah. So, this would be the kind of thing that would be... Yeah, if you have 30 grand in caps... What does it do? It's... It's 88 damage. You basically just blow people away <laughs> immediately. Um, because it also bonus critical chance, reduced critical damage. But crit kill is boom! Yeah, no, uh, if you just want to do an unarmored thing and you, you aren't worried about the whole, um... Come back. If you're not as concerned about, you know, doing this in this particular way, uh, and you want to just do an R, you, you just want to focus on unarmored combat, yeah, get, uh, get one of those, uh, like, like the two-step goodbye, because it's basically like you punch people and a sh two shotgun shells come out of the thing. That's basically what it is. And, uh, yeah, that, that, uh, that ends up being pretty effective. Pretty effective. Uh, alright. I would definitely suggest that if uh, we were doing it that way. I would not be able to have that much money. Especially if we're not selling stuff off. I would need to get myself literally... Um... 30,000 in caps. 
I mean, with a higher barter skill, that's not going to be as much of a problem. But okay, this is the okay. So free side. All right, so good old free side. All right. Um, let's just go and. Oh, hi. You. There. I'm gonna uppercut you a bunch. Yeah, take it. Take, take that. Had enough? No. No, because I'm gonna do this. Hey. You like that? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Hit him rock. Hit him rock. Okay. Oh, that worked. Okay. I cannot be taken out by a free side thug. There. Really? Ten? I get a sweet ten experience for that. Okay, um... Oh, okay, I gotta heal up here. Badly. Alright, so, let's, uh, let's just go to the f old fort. Uh, who's here? Good day. Hi, Beatrix. Um, any, be any bed I can use? These are the followers of the apocalypse. Yeah, they'll let me sleep in places. Okay. It's Arcade. Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. Why do you do research instead of providing Not medical? all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Until you become goal, Shazam. I don't think this research will yield much fruit. Uh, no pun intended. All right. No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? Uh, probably not. Until things settle down around here, alleviating my boredom isn't a good motive to leave. Sorry. Okay, fine. I just punched somebody to death. So, you know, it's Julie. Hi, Julie. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Uh, you need medical Rates surprise? of injury and illness in Freeside are very Duh. high. Supplies don't just, last long. Just said that. What do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Uh, so far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. Well, if you jerks. can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Okay. What you merchants? might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. I could, uh, yeah, you guys deal. What oh. do you uh, I need medical services, but I cannot pay you for my... I'm gonna make him Ralph because I gotta I gotta talk to them anyway. Oh my goodness. Oh no, not another one. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Had enough. All right, here we go. Uppercut. Uppercut. Normal, normal, normal. Okay. Uh, except. Boom! 
Um. Punch! Yeah, punch! Okay, listen. You wanna play? You wanna play? Okay. We're gonna play. Okay, we're gonna play. We're gonna play. Here. Okay, this. I'm gonna. Okay. Ready? Why? Why are you so hard to hit? Listen, listen you. <laughs> I'm gonna go have to heal myself again. Hey, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh! It's not enough that I do like <laughs> nothing for damage, but you have to block me. You, you. Listen. I'm gonna. Okay. Ready? Open palm! Alright. You're getting uppercut all over the place. There. Yeah. Uppercut. Yeah. Okay. Had enough? Okay, listen. Listen, you. I'm telling you right now. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? Listen. You seem like a reasonable dude. Psych! out like three quarters of my health that's pretty great Good morning okay yeah hi just in general uh Hungry? thirsty horny the atomic wrangler has you covered it's just a full service organization you got going on there um my health is low yeah i know um. Oh, I could do this mission. Morning. Welcome to the Silver Rush. New I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before. Okay. It should only take a moment. There. Thanks. The bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half These of the Van Graffs. is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate... You steal everything on the... <laughs> Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Yeah, this is gonna Do end it. trouble for you. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Well, they're fun. Something I would suggest, if you're doing this in a regular run, is if you have a uh, stealth boy or two, uh, you can just come behind Gloria here 
and just steal everything on the table. All the plasma grenades. You could come up here, you could just get all of these laser rifles. You can go over here and you can get all of these repeater rifles and everything like that. You can just, you could take, you could take everything. Plasma casters, the whole shebang, the whole nine yards. You can, you could just, you could just take literally everything. multi plas rifles. You can just, you can take it all and then you can do what I'm about to do. Okay. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Uh, I was wondering if you have it work available. It just so happens a position opened up re Sure, count me in. Wonderful. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he... So... This is a quest that I am going to be purposely failing. Welcome to the Silver... Oh crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. Sorry. Yep, that's right. Well, no time for pleasantries. I've got your gear right here, but let's see if you can follow instructions. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Yep. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Oh, okay. Okay, that's nice. I shall take Good. a position. Okay. Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter and exit the area while I get your gear ready. I do not plan on getting into an altercation. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor, with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your prep? Um... Lasers have a high... So... Well, I'm not going to use either of them. I prefer laser-based weapons myself. But the boss lady says she wants at least one guard using a plasma rifle. Says the lightning bits draw in more people. Whatever. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Sure. Drunks, punks, and capitalist vermin are to be turned away. Gotcha. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. Okay. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. Uh -huh. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Oh yeah, I'm Don't very good at that. Any fights. Uh, I don't okay. care if some jet junkie just assaulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, not start it here. Oh, okay. Lastly, don't abandon your post. No. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. Okay. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Oh, you don't have Trust to worry me. about me. The rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Oh, okay. Other than that, relax. Who knows? You might attract a high roller from the Wrangler over there and never have to pull a gig like this again. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. Okay. So... First things first. Okay. Can I... <laughs> Let's see here. I cannot remove quest items from my inventory. Right. But I can take it off. Okay. Key ring. Oh, and they gave me microfusion cells. Uh, yes. Just drop all the microfusion cells. <laughs> can I drop this? I can't remove the quest items. Okay. Set in. You've got some hours left for your shift ends. All right, we've taken off all of my equipment. Here comes a winner. I'll let you handle this. One. Okay. Hi. I don't know if I even get experience for this. You'll see why in a second. Is it the third customer? Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. Sure. I got I got you back. Another one coming. You're on. Okay. Where where? Hello? Where's the new one? Oh, this one. 
Hello. Hi. Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area. Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? No. No, this is super easy. Barely Heads an inconvenience. Like we got another customer. Oh, okay. This guy. This guy looks fun. Is it this guy? I'm good at my job. Howdy. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there. Thank you kindly. We're supposed to pat everyone down. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nothing bad's gonna happen, though. Looks like that guy's headed this way. Don't screw it up. Okay. 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 It's all right. Everything's gonna be fine. I, I get, I get what you want me to do. I get what you want me to do. I get what you want me to do. Do, 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 do. I could start a little closer. Good. This dude. I think this is. It. Is it this dude? Is it that dude? So what do you what do you want me to do with him? Shoot him? No, I can't. I'm not allowed to. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Thanks. I've come a long way. Were you even listening when I said what you're supposed to do? No! I wasn't, but nothing bad is- Oh shit, shit, shit! Uh-oh. That's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Oops. Uh-oh. I, uh... So that's why we pat people down. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I can, I can take those. Key, though. I'll take the key from my key ring, please. They're all dead. Guy must have had some kind of explosive on him. Set off all the ordnance in this place at once. Congratulations, rookie. You just caught... Found you. I could use some help out here. It was worth it. Hashtag no regrets. Okay, Gloria, I, uh, I will take the key. Keys are one thing that I, that, that I'm going to have to be able to take, so. I'm just gonna get in here. Uh, and I'm gonna go up here. And... I don't have any lockpicks. But I could probably sleep in a bed if there's a single bed. Please tell me there's a bed I could sleep in here. No. This one? No. Can I sleep? I can't sleep in this bed. I did this whole thing thinking to myself, hey, wouldn't it be great? I could just... I could just... I might have a bed that I can go... I am starting to realize that this is a futile pursuit. Um, and now everyone is dead. Which normally would be fine. Like it's, I love how I say that. It's like, yeah, normally it would be fine. Everything's good. 
But, um, yeah, so Simon, uh, I mean, it's been real, man. Uh, looks like uh, you got things handled here. Uh, you can still steal all this stuff, which is pretty great. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna see if I can... One second here. Okay, I'm not... No, everything's cool. Everything's cool, man. Everything's cool. Also, um... Now I'm just messing around. Alright, so obviously this... Obviously this is not working... Uh, very well. So... I'm so slow. All right, so All right, where was I before? Uh this. Yeah, let's let's just go back. <laughs> let's just go back. All right. Screw you. <laughs> That, that accomplished absolutely nothing. Except blowing up everything, which is actually a lot of fun. Oh no. Oh no. I'll make this quick. How's it? How is it these the thugs in Freeside? No, come back here. Come back. I'm not done hitting you. I'm not done hitting you. Get back here. Where? where? I I come back. Come back. I will, I, th there, yeah, smack you, smack you, smack, yeah, come on, uppercut, uppercut, yeah, that's right, uppercut, Come on! I'm getting no experience from this. Oh my god, it's gonna take me so long to level up. I don't even get experience from this stuff. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't get into don't fights. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Why would I go past Those the bots graves? are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Sure. Thanks for the free the advice. The name's old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. When you were young, Ben. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Uh, exactly yeah, one of career? the reasons I got out of that job. Yeah. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Uh huh. Butcher. My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. That's You're odd. telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. Yeah, probably not the time you want to start dunking on people. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. 
That didn't last long. Uh, what happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time. Yeah. And one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. Uh-oh. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Yeah, but what can you do? Mm. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. All right, so. All right. Till next time. All right, so let's go talk. You have entered the restricted area. Bed rotation self contained initiated. Uh oh. Have a nice day. <laughs> Submit to a credit check. Or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Admission to the strip requires an official passport or proof that you are carrying the required minimum. Oh, balance. maybe I can get a passport. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. Uh, okay, so let me see here. Passport to new. Vegas Strip. Okay, how to get passport? Yeah, uh, I do not have two thousand credits, and I do not have science skill Please, in order to get in. Okay, so we've got to come up with a new idea. Um, okay. Right. Right, there is one other thing I can do. Since I don't have the skills necessary in order to get it from the thing, and I can't just raise the money by doing jobs, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go see the king and see about doing GI Blues. And I, uh, am not particularly... Hello. What's up? I'm gonna go into... Here. I'm gonna have to do GI Blues. What about Pacer? What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Uh, yes. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Uh... Then the king has no interest in seeing you. Okay. Look who's back. No, trust me. The king will want to see you if I want you to see him. Come back when you figure out... Hey. Okay, I can't do that until I see him. Okay, I'm going to have to figure this out. Yeah, without money at all, this does become a little bit more complicated. I am going to have to go... Oh, if my skills were just a little bit better. I could have just gotten into the strip through the... Uh... For all your shopping needs. Yes, I'm going to go see Mick and Ralph. Maybe they can help me out. I don't have money to pay Pacer. My speech skill isn't high enough. That I can convince him to let me in. My explosives and science skill aren't high enough for me to disarm the bomb on the tram to get in from McCarran. I can't get caps because I took that vow of poverty, so I can't just pay them at the front. Yeah, my options are not great right now. If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got. Uh, okay. 
We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of meds they're looking to purchase. You could check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the Atomic Wrangler. Sure. They've got a bunch of stills and a seemingly endless supply of grain alcohol, which could be used as anesthetic or disinfectant. Okay, um... Do you offer services? I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Impre if you haven't heard of the king, he must... The king has his boys all yeah, over Freeside. I know who he, he controls is. the water pump and is essentially the go-to guy for what goes around here. Wow, you're a real wordsmith there, bub. Sorry. Sorry, talk to the leaders of Freeside if you want the deal. Take... Uh, I have nothing to offer you. Xander Rude is the only thing I can actually afford, but that's not going to do me any good. Come back any... I'm traveling light. Just like Welcome to Mick and Ralph. For general. Uh, how's business? Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we did buy. Good selection from traders, and the Van Graffs keep things running. Oh, uh, what am I gonna do? That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. If I if had better, hit... if I had better speech skill, yeah. Anything else I can help you with? Uh. No, they're not looking then to talk. Buy. Okay. Yeah. Come back. I, I appreciate that you're a man of few words. Um, oh, maybe. Do you have a bed upstairs? Uh, hold, hold, hold. Just, just hold on a second. I'm just going to go look and see if you have a bed up here. Ooh, a bed. I can't sleep in it. I can't sleep in that bed either. Uh, what about in here? Can I sleep on the carpet? Can I sleep anywhere? Oh, I can I can drink from the sink though. Mmm, yummy. No rads in the sink. It's a public fountain. Okay. Um. All right. So. Hey. All right. I'm gonna go. See if I can find a freaking bed. I guess I can go back and see the, uh... Uh... I guess if I need to, I can go back and, and see the followers of the apocalypse, but boy. I think there's a bed up here. Isn't there? I want to say there is. Let's go see if there's a bed. I don't see... No... Great place to get munitions, by the way. Just a great place to get munitions. Uh, okay, well, yeah, my health is low. I'm getting a sweet 10 experience points for beating up each one of these thugs. I need to get some XP. I need to get... I think I'm going to have to be at least level 5 to get the necessary skills I'm going to need. I, I, I can put everything into speech so that I can deal with these speech checks, but... Man, oh man. Alright, so... How am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? I'm going to need to... Okay, folks. I'm going to need to do something. I think what I'm going to have to do is, um, uh, oh, somebody wound up in my bed. That's kind of disturbing. Okay. I'm going to go, this, this, this rat that you're after, this rat, I could just kill the rat for you. Why are you chasing? Where's the rat going now? Hi. Yeah, uppercut the rat. There. Thanks, lady. Yeah, you're welcome. The <laughs> 
I'm so glad that I could provide you with fresh, nutritious, giant rat meat. Ugh. Kids during the apocalypse, man. I'll tell you. All right, so you're a oh, well, Hello there. Uh, hi. Okay. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to endear myself to the public. I just took out a rat. So there's that. This just takes you into the other part of the strip. Okay, well, let's see here. Get some levels in unarmed. What's the quickest way to get experience? I mean, one of the quickest ways to get experience is just to ex discover locations. But um, that's not going to really help me at the moment. Um, Alright, what's this? I can't get into the ruin store. Uh, okay, well, and there's there's nothing over here for me, right? Oh, maybe I can go see Fisto. Who's Fisto, you say? Good question. Cerulean Robotics. Let's go into Cerulean Robotics, please. What, what the hell was that noise? Okay. There are some rats to deal with, but obviously that's not going to be like a huge problem. Okay. Let's just see if we can... Yeah. Yeah. That's right. This is good. That's right. This is the equivalent of hunting boars in World of Warcraft. I'm just going around, just smacking... Just smacking rats. Here, come on. Rat. Hey, rat. <laughs> Alright, except. There. On the plus side, this is getting me quite a bit of experience. All right. I get five experience every time I do this. Now the question is: anything else I could do? Oh, hacking stuff. I bet hacking stuff would be useful. Can I? I don't have enough skill to do that. I don't have enough skill to do, like, freaking anything. And that's kind of annoying. I will grant you that. It's kind of annoying. If I sit on the couch, and I, I wait, it does not improve my hit points. Can I have a little lie down on the couches? Nope. Okay, fine. Fine. I can't have a little lie down on the couches. Alright, fine. Be that way. I really wish buildings like that Acme Realty, you know, the ones that actually have the signs out, I wish that those were accessible. But they are not. They are Uh, what else? I believe there's something that usually happens over here, right?
Oh, actually, you know what? I believe there's a bit up here. I need to just I need to find I can't get in there. Fine. Be that way. Uh It's times like this I really wish I had something. But that's not the point. The point is to see if we can do this without any kind of equipment. Or really anything. I can't have equipment. I can't have guns. No caps. Nothing. I don't have any caps, do I? No, and I have a lovely negative two damage threshold, so that's fun. Which, in retrospect, probably wasn't a great trade. Because... Because, um, I don't really know if it means anything, because I think people still hit me for the same, but I was doing it so that I could get the extra ten, uh, uh, so I could get the extra ten, um, action points, but I still can't, like, hit with my, with literally just my fists more than four times right now, which is stupid. But I think if I get the action girl skill, um... Maybe, maybe I'd be able to get enough uh, AP that I could do it. Um, also, in retrospective, if I was going to use heavy-handed, which lowers my critical damage, uh, luck's not really as big a deal. So I could have put points into something else, like agility or intelligence. Good thing to know for the future. Okay, so what we're going to do... This is not going to end well. We're just going to run. We're just, yeah. We're just going to run in. Uh, my, my, my. Submit hand. to a credit check. Please be. I'm going to just. Area. I'm just. Emanate. Okay. Okay, so that didn't work. That, that did not work. Um, what? What are you doing? Why are you attacking me? Uh-oh. No! No, wait, hold on, hold on a second here. Oh, there, auto. Yeah. Load up again. Yeah, there's no reason why you should be attacking me. Okay. <sighs> well, I am hitting a bit of an impasse right now. I don't have enough skills to do freaking anything. <laughs> ha! Uh, yeah! I love this charging attack, though. Oh, man. Okay, so... Alright, uh, uh... Okay, so... Alright, let's think about this for a second. Let's think about this for a second. <sighs> okay. So there's three ways, really there's three ways you can get into the strip. As far as I'm aware, there are three different methodologies. Okay. Method one is you pay 2,000 caps, but obviously I don't have any caps. That's out. Option two is talk to the king, do the GI Blues quest line so I can get myself a passport and go into the strip. That seems viable. Problem is, I first need to get by Pacer. And I can't get by Pacer because I can't do a speech check. 
I don't have the skill yet. Option three. NCR will let me use the tram for free if, if I can solve their spy problem, but I don't have the skill necessary to beat up Curtis so that I can get the codes, and I also don't have explosives or science skill high enough to defuse the bomb on the tram, which means the tram's gonna go off, get destroyed, and I won't be able to use it ever. So... Yeah, this is a problem. I kind of figured this would be the, the, the impasse that I would have to deal with, is, is this right here. What I do when we reach this this particular part. I'm at Vegas itself and um, and now what am I supposed to do? Um, Cause uh, what can I do? What can I do? Um hmm Good question, everybody. I have not discovered anything. I have not discovered anything. Um, it would be really helpful if I did a quest or two. It would be really helpful if I did a quest or two. Uh, now that I'm level two, maybe I can do prim? Now that I'm level two, maybe I could do prim? Oh, um... Oh, there's something, there's, there's another thing I might be able to do. Go back to the Mojave Outpost for a second. I think, um, I think there's, a, and I can beat up some ants. I think there's a quest to beat up some ants. Let me just go. We're now in territory where I can just, uh, just, will you let me beat up some ants? Maybe that would make... Would that make everybody happy? Okay, headquarters. Hi, Major Knight. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or uh, courier. Just need something for the logbook. Keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Not a problem. So if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Uh, anything I can help? do to help? Oh, well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. I you would love to speak to you. Ranger Jackson. He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. Uh, I don't need repairs. There's nothing. Up. I'm not wearing anything. I don't have to. Hello. I'm not wearing any pants, everybody. Uh, okay. Here we go. Ranger Jackson like we with got the a amazing new mustache. In the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry. Only passing through. Yeah, I know. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell. And if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Mm. Any way I can help? No, look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I try. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Okay. Sounds like a deal. Thanks. I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some su No supplies are necessary. Don't worry. Can you find it in your heart? I might be able to do this. I might be able to do this. Huh. <sighs> That is a big if. Um, quests. Alright. So now, what we gotta do, and this is gonna be super fun for me, is I. Oh, my. Shoot, my health is still low. Oh, is there a... 
Oh, this looks like more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Oh, I just... What's in here? Oh, okay. I can't take anything, sorry. Uh, what else? What else we got here? Whee! Can I get... This is a pretty sweet... Okay. I need to find myself a bed or something while I'm on my way. Okay, so ants. Down here is where I'm going to be dealing with some ants. Uh, they are not indeed in my pants. That is not what they are. Now, if I'm in luck, somebody else might be here uh, you know, doing their thing. Uh, there might be caravans or mercenaries on the road. But again, that would be a, uh, you know, a good thing. And if you've not noticed, um, that is, that does not seem to be the way my day is going. Um, okay, yep, yeah, alright. Well, my half health starting out, and I go, okay. Okay, let me see, well, okay, this might, this might not be horrible, okay. yeah, okay, great, yeah, giant ant, come on, giant ant, okay, yeah, no, this is good, okay, duck and weave, if I, if I keep kind of stepping back, That's actually a pretty good strategy, actually. Oh! Damn it. It's a good strategy. <laughs> actually, you can. You can move back. This might work. Hold on. This, this might actually work. But you know what would be really handy? If I actually had health. Health would be really useful right now. I could... I could... I would very much appreciate having health. So, let's just take care of that. Yep. Sleep, please. Thank you. Patrol. Okay. Alrighty. Alright. Back in the saddle again. Okay. So... It looks like, if you know what you're doing, which I do not, at least in melee combat, I should be able to kind of like keep moving back so it's harder for them to hit me, but still land punches myself, and if that's the case, this, this will be a lot easier. Sneak is really not becoming much of a useful skill. Not nearly as useful as I was hoping. I'm just going to put up my dukes. The dukes. Alright, so back to ant country. Back to ant country. All right. That's right. You have not seen my sweet kicks. I wish I had kick moves. I think you get those later. Okay. Yeah. All right. Honestly, I kept thinking to myself that this actually might have been easier in in Fallout 3 just because of how damage ca like damage threshold is the thing that's making this so difficult. Um damage damage reduction like they had in 3 would actually be a little easier because that's about a percentage decrease to what you normally take. Damage threshold like if they have a damage threshold of like 20 
or something like that. I basically can't get any damage through. It's near, near impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Come on. Just, just, just. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, that's, okay, okay, we're getting there. Ooh, that was pretty good, okay, yeah, 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 all right. How many more do I have? Do I just have the one? If I'm lucky. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? Okay, that's, come on. There you go. Yeah. Get in there. Haymakers. Okay. Come on. Oh, that was... That was a good one. That was a good one right there. Alright. That all of them? No, there's one more. Damn it. There's always one more. All right, and it's a big one. Oh no, there's no, there's a couple more. Hi, you my friend. Are you gonna try to? Okay, yeah, you're you're not my friend. Okay. Soldier ants. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, come on. If I'm lucky, maybe this will work. Hey, look at this. Oh, this 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 seems okay. This is workable. Yeah, come on. This is good. Yeah, come on. Yeah, try me. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep backing up. There. That works. Hey! Sweet. Okay, I only have the one other that I need to get now. I don't like I have. Okay, where is this ant? Where is ant? Oh, there's two ants. You've got to be kidding me, man! Like just endless ants. Add an ant. Ha! Yeah, no, you, no. No. Uppercut. I'm gonna uppercut you into oblivion. There. Oh boy. We're getting... Okay, cool. We're level three. <laughs> um, okay. Alright, so... Uh, let's see here. Speech. We're going to raise up a bit. And what else did I want to do? Science. Let's put three into that, because I'm going to have to get that better. Rest all into unarmed. How about that? Okay. Because I'm really hoping that my unarmed skill helps with actual... 
damage. I don't know. Yeah, okay. There we go. Alright, hey, I actually, I accomplished something, that's great, that's great, okay. Alright, let's go talk to Ranger Rick, and see if I can't get Morning. All right, Ranger. Where are you? Hi. Appreciate the help. Sure. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. That's fine. Never mind. I'm going. Take now. care. Cool your heels over in the barracks if you want. Terrific. The NCR likes me now. That and the dollar will get you some coffee. I'm gonna... Is there any place where I can rest just here? No, I gotta go to the other hey. place. Fine. That's for personal. Fine. Fine. Alright. Out the door we go. I am gonna rest in the barracks because I definitely need to get some health back. I gotta figure out how to get rid of rads. You've done a good turn for the NCR and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency too. You're not alone out here. Well, they gave me a radio. I guess that's something. The problem is that that's an inventory thing. I don't actually think I can drop that though. Okay, so it's a quest item. I can't do anything about that. That's just a radio. Oh, darn. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now that's interesting. No, because if I used it, then it's quick. I thought to myself, well, since it's a critical thing that I can't actually drop, I could technically use it, but if I used it, that would be equipment that I'm using. The point is, we are not reliant on any of that. Uh, I need about 400 XP so that I can get to the next level here. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, can I use a bed, please? There we go. All it takes is an hour. Morning. Looking for trouble? Always. Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. You all right, Cass? All right? No, I'm not all right. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Yeah, um... Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo, they just burned that too. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR supply line, and the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a new Vegas virgin. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Yeah, he's been with NCR so long, all he can see is the worst outcome of everything. So he doesn't do anything. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. 
And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. So if you came here for work, my advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. No shit. Drinks on me then. Still, not like I'm going anywhere. Caravan title's still keeping me here even though it's dead and gone. You take care now. Hmm. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Howdy. Hi, Orange Ninja! Welcome to the party. Uh, okay. Since you're just joining us, I'll give you a little bit of an information about what's going on here. Uh, I am desperately trying to figure out how to get experience if I'm not actually holding any weapons, or armor, or caps, or anything. Just to give you an idea. Literally, just... Literally nothing. The only things I have on me right now are literally mission-critical stuff that I can't get rid of. And I'm not going to be using those. So, it's all fists and hope at this point. Um, uh, and now, what I'm mostly trying to do is see if I can get my stats up a little bit, because um, I have reached the impasse of trying to figure out how to get into the strip. Three different methodologies that you're supposed to use to get into the strip, and obviously if I don't have caps, I can't just buy it. Um, my speech skill is not high enough to get in to see the king, and uh, my... Unfortunately, I'm having a little bit of trouble actually doing the uh, the NCR tram because I can only punch so hard here. Oh, hello. That's a traveling merchant. What's going on over here? Mercenaries. Get a follower. Nah, I'm a Ronin here. I can't do it. I can't do it. I thought that if I got a follower, that's just that's cheating. Again, I gotta, I gotta just try my hardest to actually do this. No, earlier, no, somebody else was saying, yeah, no, well, you could, you could get caps off of people, and it's like, no, no, vow of poverty. No, can't, I can't do it. I would, if I had, if I got a follower, that's the easiest thing in the world, just go get Veronica and just have her punch everything for me. That would be, that would be great. Wish I could do that. Uh... Because that would make my life a whole lot easier. Or I'd get Edie. Uh, if I was over in Prim. So. Purposely made this way harder on myself than I really needed it to be. But. Fun thing. Go to Novak. Yes. Have gone to Novak actually. I'll show you. I was trying to clean up some things to get some. Uh, but I'll go, to, I'll go to Novak. I got the Ranger takedown. I've gotten the Ranger takedown. Um, it doesn't seem to be activating very much. I don't think my unarmored skill is quite hard, uh, high enough. Yet. I'm at 55. Um, so I have gone to Novak. I imagine, I imagine what you're thinking of is, uh, to get Ranger Andy's special move. And I, I have that. I have that. Uh, but, um... Certainly hey could there. you. Oh, this one. Well, welcome to you. Mm -hmm. You look tired from the road. 
Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. We haven't met. Oh, what am I doing? I mean, we've met in I the got past. to thinking about making a good Not impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. Hi. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. I'm a troublemaker. Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better it's than what they the got. the checkered suits that Those do Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper up in the dinosaur's mouth. Do the, uh, qu oh, 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 oh. Do the quest here. Oh yeah, yeah. You want uh, you want me to do fly me uh, fly me to the moon? I could try. I could try. It's uh. Watch out for str. Or oh oh oh. I think I think I know the one you're talking about. The uh, you, Boone's quest. You're probably talking about Boone's quest. That's not a hard one. Fly me to the moon is great. I don't think I could do it with my current with the current situation, but. Boone's quest is not that's not a bad idea. Yeah, talk to the nighttime sniper. Yep. Yep. No, I I know what you're talking. I got I got you. I got you. I know what you do. I know what you're talking about. Yep. Okay, so first things first, let's just wait. And uh, we'll talk to we'll talk to Boone. Good thought. Good thought, Orange uh, Ninja. Uh, because that is going to That's actually gonna be great. Yeah. That's great because that's going to be some easy peasy for me. That's going to be some easy experience. Plus I'll get a room. Because really, the only thing I got going for me is I have to find beds that I don't have to pay for. Because no stims. No, no doctor's packs or anything. Uh, so, yeah, I've had to readjust like my entire thinking on the subject. But anyway... Yeah, let's go talk to Boone. Let's do a quest. That's gonna get God me some it. XP. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Um, expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Oh. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Why am I ever here? Uh, I'm meeting new people. I think you better leave. <laughs> do you treat everyone Wait. here around like this? You just got into town. Maybe yeah. you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Exactly. Why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. Uh, okay. What do you I want, want me to you do? I want you to find something out for me. Yes. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. There is. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. So the thing is, I know who Bring this is. Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I'll see what Good. I can do. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak Once again. My baby, yeah. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. So, yeah. I know who it is. <laughs> I know who it is. I'll allow the beret in my inventory. It is a mission critical thing. So, I think I think we'll we'll make an exception. Me too, I did the quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, this is always a great... Novak is always a great location when you get here because once you do... You do this, and th th then you have a room, which is real useful, and then you do the fly me to the moon thing, which is normally that's what I would be doing right now, and then they love you here, and that that's absolutely great. But... Uh, without any weapons or armor or anything else, I can't take the Nightkin. 
<laughs> I, I can't, I can't really take, not only can I not take the night I can, I don't think I can even take the glower, liking. the glowing ones. Um. How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. Mm -hmm. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. Mm. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. Mm. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Oh... Uh... Should I try to find evidence, or I guess it really doesn't matter. Just come with me. Okay, if that's what you think. Yeah, no, I I would love it if you came with me. Because I can't get into the safe, right? No, I can't. I have no I have no lockpicks. Uh but let me just do that real quick. Okay, come come with me in front of the dinosaur. Victor, you're still here? Okay. All right. Good thinking, uh, Orange Ninja. Though this is a uh, this is going to be quick experience for me, which is good because I definitely need it. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, right, 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 right. It's not her. Watch out for strangers. I need to put on the beret. I need to put on the special beret. There. There we go. Did she have pe- I can take a safe key. Here's what I'll do. Because I, I did say at the beginning of this, if it is like quest-related items, not like equipment or anything that I would utilize, those are things that I'm able to take. So things like keys or documents, stuff like that. So I can take her key. I'll take off the beret. No need the beret on anymore. And now I can get the bill of sale. Boop! And is the note in there? Bill of sale. That proves what we knew all along. All along? This is a message to. Yeah, no, we, we already did that. Okay, cool. That way, Boone will probably ask me, hey, how'd you know that, that, was, that it was Jeannie Mae? And now I can say, well, I got this here. Give him back his beret. And I can still keep my vow of modesty and silence. And, and, uh, poverty. That's it, then. How did you... Found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm not gonna tell you, you that... like them to keep paperwork. You know. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. Are you an outlaw no. now? People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. people die at the fair. <laughs> They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Sometimes Besides, people get shot outside dinosaurs. That was on break when it happened. Yeah. Well, you I don't this. know. I won't be staying. I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Yeah. Love to take you with me because you're incredibly useful, but. That would be a little... That would make this way too easy. I will open the garbage can, though. <laughs> Sorry, I have to put all of you in here. Oh, well. So be it. Alright. Great. Thank you for the tip. That's a... Cool 150 experience right out of the gate. That's great. I'm trying very hard to get... I, I really need to one or two more levels in order to do this. Because um, I'm going to have to have speech, I think, at 
fifty. I want to say. Um. Oh boy. Now see, I could do Helios. Where am I? What else could we do? You know what, though? While I'm here, it probably behooves me to just go up and see if I can access the boomers. You know what I mean? Burn. I think that that might be smart because I'm going to have to do that anyway. Uh oh. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Uppercut, uppercut. Oh, yeah. Just. just. Rocky four. Okay. Come on. Uh. Blood. Did you? Did you kill the guard? Uh oh. Luckily, my AP. Gets... Okay. You. You. Get, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Yeah. No, I don't like that. I verifiably do not like that. Here. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Oh, come on, I'm so close. You like the sight of your own blood? No, I verifiably do not like the sight of my own blood. Urgh, I'm so close. Mm. Okay. Fine. Be that way. Back up to the east gate. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Northeast, here we come. I think the boomers are going to be my next stop. If I can just make it through the field. Oh, is that the guy again? Uh-oh. No, this doesn't end well. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Why well, can oh oh he has a plasma pistol now? No! Hey! What hold hold it hold that a second. You <laughs> last time you had a laser rifle. Hey, yeah, no. You can't hit the broad side of a barn, you dumb bastard. Oh You like the side of your own blood? No. No, I die. Bye bye. You die. Yep. Yeah, that definitely happens quite a bit. Yep. So the lesson is uh, don't go after the guy with a plasma rifle. Don't do that. It's not smart, folks. Do not see... If you see somebody who is actively hostile towards you and um, and they pull out the plasma rifle, it's probably a bad idea. Probably a bad idea to engage. Let's see. And my hit points... Hmm. My hit points are about as, as high as it can possibly be <laughs> without any kind of modification. For the record, uh, like as we come up on 4, because I'll probably be ending fairly soon, um, not exactly the most recommended way to play Fallout New Vegas. Um, 
I like the idea, though, that I don't have to constantly stop and pick up stuff because usually I'm a scrounger. I want to pick up every single thing I see. That's actually been the hardest thing to just say, no, I'm not picking up anything. I I can't investigate. I can't search bodies. It's That's actually... I'm having withdrawal symptoms about that. Um, so so that's, that's happening. Um, but, uh-oh. Uh oh, what 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 is Oh geckos No Not a gecko. Okay, I might be able to take these geckos actually. Can I? Oh yeah, actually I think I can take these geckos out pretty easy. Oh no, not rads. Okay. That 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 is going to be something I'm really not happy about though. Alright. How do I get rid of rads? There are ways. There are ways. If you don't have, like, rad away. Which I don't. There are ways. I just forget what they are. Alright. But anyway, yeah. Uh, not picking up anything. That's an interesting part of this. Um... Not having to worry about um, managing your equipment. That's fun. That's actually beneficial. Oh, no. Not another one of these things. Okay. Okay. Let's... Okay. Uppercuts. All of the uppercuts. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Okay. Come, come to me. Come on. You know you want to. And... Boop! Let's try that. Smack. And... Smack! <laughs> Yay! Hey, there you go. That works. My health is low again. <laughs> oh my goodness. This could be going way better. There's a shack. Oh, 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 I might be able to rest in the shack. I might be able to rest in the shack. You never realize how valuable, um, just, like, non-occupied beds are until you... <laughs> until it's all you can rely on. But, but I'm telling you right now, it, you start seeking them out like it is manna from heaven. Um, let's see here. The boomers are going to be, okay, boomers, where are you? Oh, uh, let's see what it is. All right. I've like I've always played Fallout New Vegas. I've played many many times, and usually I just play straight out, just see good path, bad path, all that stuff. Um, but uh, it's it's really interesting to play with a lot of self-imposed restrictions because you start looking at different game mechanics and systems in the game differently, and uh, determine. Stuff that you never really thought about, you know, because not being able to pick locks because I don't have lock picks means I got to think of other ways around systems. Not being able to just automatically take on most of these characters makes me think really carefully about what fights I want to pick. Knowing that I can't just heal myself with stim packs means that I need to know when I need to retreat and where I can retreat to. Uh, so that's actually the the most interesting part that I've uh, experienced from this uh, playing today. Um, and make a note. I can sleep in these bunk beds. I'm going to try something that is bound to end up being a terrible idea. 
and I think everybody knows exactly what it is. I'm going to try to run through the field to get to the boomers. Have to do it eventually anyway. Might as well give it a go. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or Hi, you'll George. get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in boomer territory. Mm. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you. Uh, oh good, my speech skill. <laughs> I'm so glad I raised that to 30 before that. Okay, great. Can you... Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want my help or not? Okay, is there a way to get past? There is a way, and I'll tell you, for a little wager. Okay. Suit yourself. Come. Okay, okay, tell Welcome you Welcome back. Have you recon... Okay, what's... Well, well, I know the secret. If you make it back alive... I don't have the cash. Suit yourself. It's fine. Just, just... Uh. It's all right, George. Don't, don't you worry about it, George. Go on the hill? Okay. Hill! Uh oh. No! Okay, that didn't work. Pretty sure that's not what you meant, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's a hill up on the. Uh... Oh, can I go up on the hill? Can I get up here? Oh, if only I could get up here. That would be great. I half know what you're talking about, and now I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, there's a hill. All right. Oh, the hill over that way? Uh, I know, if you stick close to the buildings and you keep moving, you can usually avoid this. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm not insane. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just kind of stay stationary for a second. And if you kind of give me a night... Whoop! I'm going to back up a bit. If I can remember the hill. I feel like this is something that I should have remembered. I guess it's been long enough that I don't, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, the boomer... Boomer root. Uh, Nellis, if you get on the hill to the left, they do not shoot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yep, yep, I know what it is. Okay, so what I gotta do is, yeah, there's a way to get up here, isn't it? Oh, wait, wait. I think I can get up there. I get up on the hill. Is there another way I can get up there? Oh, wait. I might have to backtrack a little bit more then. I bet it's right there. If you get on the hill to the left, they do not shoot. Yeah! Oh, yeah. I need to figure out how do I get up there. I want to say there is a way I can actually do it from this angle. Come on. I feel like I can actually clip through this. I really do. Yeah, it really doesn't want me to look at me like this. There's... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I think there's a way I can get up here. 
Uh, wait, that might not be it. That might not be it. No, come on. Okay, well, not exactly what I was hoping to do, but... Okay, so... So, not, not the, uh... Hold it right there. Hi. You move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? I don't know. <laughs> but I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Uh, I didn't come here to attack just, you. Just stay where you are. Because I don't think Raquel I can. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Uh, yep. Follow close, and mind your behavior. Okay. Uh, Welcome, child. Took your sweet it, yeah, time getting here, didn't it you? It worked. That's all I, I can... <laughs> good five years Anything that doesn't kill you in New Vegas and visit. makes you stronger. Um. Oh, so many ways. Yes. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. Okay. You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. Theoretically, My youngers think our guns can keep out the world. But I think we need to let it in, just a little, or become its victim. You're uh, that little bit of the world, child. Mm. Welcome to Nellis. <laughs> you definitely have a way of being so welcoming to people. You nearly got me destroyed. Okay, where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. Great. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could Some use real help easy with ways to get experience problem. right here. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could My just go see feet at the high. museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like. That help, I can do. Don't help, I leave it up to you. That but is I a skill I possess. That not every outsider needs to be blown up. I will say that that the I'm pretty sure that I can do the sitting and doing nothing part. I'm pretty good at that. I can't sleep in a bed here. Great. I Hey. Hey. My limbs are all damn I got to I got to find a bed or something. That's the schoolhouse. Um, that's the school. Oh, oh my god. Jeez. Did class just get out or something? Okay. Uh. Or is class in session? Why are you all just hovering around the door? Okay, bye. Okay, bye. This is the barrack. Oh, oh the wind is barracks. Hello. I'm playing a lady. I can sleep here. That's fine. There. Terrific. Can't use that. Alrighty. Medical station. I don't... What is my medical skill? I don't think I can help the doc, honestly. 
because my medicine is 17. Oh, wow, a sweet 17. I don't think that's going to help him out a lot. Uh, what I can do, though, is... Um, I'll find the museum. I can do the museum, and I can probably help him out with the... Not the repairs, necessarily, but I can probably help them out with their little problem with the bugs. Ah, no. <laughs> it's like, why did it stop moving all of a sudden? I, I hit the button above tab. I don't want to do that. Um, all right. Quests. Valari. It's the kind of thing might as well do, right? Might as well help the boomers out now. It's a lot of good, easy experience, and you get a lot of clout. Um, I think, oh, there's so many options. Oh, there's so many things I could be doing. That's a big gun. Okay. So that's the schoolhouse, that's the thing. Yay. Yeah, hi. Oh, I'll just go see them in the workshop. What time is it? Oh. Can you find power armor here? I could. Potentially. Um. No, I don't think so. But I also have no armor. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I'm a glutton for the pain. I literally have no armor either. Power armor would be great if I had uh, Veronica with me. Uh, but for future planning, for anybody who might be going through this, can you find power armor here? I don't remember a suit being in the boomer complex. There's a lot of places where... Usually where I go... Usually that would be Brotherhood of Steel Bunker. If you can go to the BOS Bunker, there's plenty of different variants there. And then if you do the stuff with, like, Arcade and... Um, and the, the former Enclave stuff. The Enclave armor is the really good stuff. Um, what is here? Um, they'll give you the rebreather. The rebreather's handy. Uh, what other equipment is, is here? I'm not sure. I forget. This is the munition storage. I don't want to go there. This is the hangar. I don't think I can help him with repairs. I don't repairs. know how you survived the bombardment. That's incredible. And yet you're walking away from me. Air Force One. Yes. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. I'm looking Is for ways so? to make myself... How about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Okay. Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones. And there's been that ant problem over near there. Oh, yeah. You can't ants. miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Uh, I passed through a place called Helios 1. Are you talking about that damn brat light we've seen blast off to the south? You have a pit boy! I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. I never noticed that he actually had a pit boy on. I also can't, uh... My repair skill's also really terrible. The things that I'm actually good at is, like, stealth. Which is debatable. Um, unarmed, and I'm trying to get speech up because, boy, howdy. Yeah, there's there are things I'm gonna need to... There are things I'm going to need to be able to do for stealth. Um, oh my goodness. And what is the time? Oh my. It's already like 4.20 now. The best time Another to... Another glorious day in this man's army. Alright. Excellent. Uh, okay, so 
we'll probably pick this up from this spot. This is actually a really good place to suck, because I've actually gotten into the Boomer Stronghold, and isn't that great? I'll actually say make progress here. It's, uh, it's going to be 420 in a second, and what a lovely time to stop. Um... <laughs> Uh, are they from a vault? Uh, yeah, actually, if I remember correctly, the story behind the book, let me just, let me just pause this, I'll go, I'll go to the chat screen for a second here, um, cause that's, that's worth talking a little bit about. Hi. Let's just get, uh, just go over here for a second. Hi, everybody. Um, are they from a vault? Yes, actually, I believe that if you look at the story of it, um, oh, you know what, actually... I tell you what, I tell you what, Orange, uh, let me see if I can find the schoolhouse. What we'll do before we end is I will, um, the story in the schoolhouse, they actually tell you the history. I just have to remember which direction I'm going in order to get there, but they will, they will tell you specifically, okay, where are we? That's the medical station, I don't need the medical station, there's the museum, okay, it's on the other side. It's on the other side. Yeah, no, it's actually worth doing this before we end. So, uh, we can look at that because it's, uh, it, it's, it's hilarious listening to this kid tell you about the very, <laughs> the very isolated group that is the Boomers, but originally they did come from a vault. Uh, so, let's see if I can find... Uh, no. You know what would also help is if uh, if you could actually see what's going on. That would be really helpful, wouldn't it? I think so. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. One of these is the museum. There we are. We'll do the museum part. Yep, yep. What? You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Oh, I sure am. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure, Pete. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> I probably am. 34? Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns. But Vault the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. <laughs> I love that those odds are just like... <laughs> Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can uh -huh. even reach our gates. Yeah. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways... Nellis has revealed many secrets. No it has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And here... And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. Yep. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety. Yeah. High explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Yes. Um. So many questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 33.33. <laughs> yeah. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. He made a hell made 34 vault. I don't remember if you actually go to 34. Not in this one, but I think in one of the I think in one of the fallouts you actually go to vault 34. Um Gosh, there's Okay. Uh so yeah, don't that's so yeah, they're from a vault. He's not wearing a pit boy, is he? Is he? Oh, oh, you know what? I'm just realizing this. Yeah, yeah. Everybody has, 
Everybody has Pip Boys on. You know, I always wondered this. Well, okay, I'm gonna just get out of here and we'll 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 save and we'll quit out of this. But deep thought for the day after I do that. Um Okay, let me just get back here and go to chat. Okay. That's a good place to end for today. But this is always a thought that I had. And so this this is something that I, I pose as a question to everybody else. If you're a pit boy, when you go into vats, can slow or stop time all around you, shouldn't it be that like when somebody else has a pit boy on, they'd be in vats at the same time and you wouldn't be able to do that? Like, wouldn't it, wouldn't it work for them too? And you wouldn't be able to have that? Like, you couldn't, you couldn't just stop time around people if they didn't have, if, if, you know, they had the Pip-Boy on? They'd be like vats proof. I don't know why. That always bothered me as just like, a, 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 for, for the thing. Oh yeah, I know. There's, a, there's a snow globe in there too. Yeah. There's a snow globe in there. And that's always a good thing to have. Um, may have to pick that up. Um, if you, if you're looking for money, that's really where, uh, why you want to pick up those snow globes. All the money. I need all the monies. But Vow of Poverty. So many things I can't do playing this way. But it's fun. I, I like actually doing this because I've, I have trolled the Mojave Wastelands probably a good five playthroughs already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've, I've, I've trolled it so many times and I've, I've probably done everything. I, I think the first, the first playthrough I did, I probably had a good hundred and something hours in, but then of course, all of the extra stuff, I, I played all of the additional content. Um, and then I had to go back, play again with a different character, I had to beat it on hardcore. I had to see what the bad karma storyline was. I, I had to just do so many different different things. And so now it's just kind of fun to play. Uh, uh, what do you do with the snow globes? So what do you do with the snow globes? I can explain that to you, actually. Um, so the snow globes are actually c collected by Mr. House. So what happens is when you get onto the strip and you're able to get into Lucky 38... Uh, you go up to the penthouse, right, and you meet Mr. House and everything like that, but he has Jane, remember, uh, the, the Securitron bot that's, like, out front, that's, like, his Securitron lady friend. You can talk to her, and, uh, you can, you can pass in any of the snow globes that you've collected to her, and she gives you something like, I think it's, like, 2,000 caps or something for each one that you bring, uh, and, and you can give her the entire collection. So that's really useful. Uh, and uh, you you want to do that. If it's something that you're interested in, that you want to go and you want to get all the snow globes before you make some final decisions about who you're going to work for, because if, it, you're, if it's not Mr. House, uh, then, you, then you, you're not going to be able to pass them in after uh, you deal with Mr. House, because him and Jane and everybody else are then dead in the storyline. So... But you pass them into Jane, and you you get caps for all of them. And then I think, if I'm remembering correctly, in the DLCs there are also a few extra snow globes. But I believe those aren't there for caps. Those give you some passive bonuses that you can use. Um, but yeah, what you do with the snow globes is that's that's a money generator. But you have to pass them into Jane at uh, the Lucky Thirty Eight when you get into the strip. I can't get into the strip yet. I'm not bitter. Not bitter at all. <laughs> but good question. Good question. Yes. Uh, I want to say there's 10 snow globes. I want to say? I'm not quite sure. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's something like that. Um, they're supposed to kind of be a replacement to... I think that they were supposed to be like a substitute. Yeah, yeah. They're, I think they're, they were supposed to be like a substitute for the... Um, the bobbleheads, but in the bobbleheads, you actually got stat bonuses. This, this you don't. You just get, you get some cash. Of course, if you really want to get cash in this game, uh, the, 
the best way I've found is to make sure that your luck is maxed out and just keep going to the casinos. And blackjack. Just blackjack, blackjack, blackjack. You can you can you can rack up a lot of money very quickly. Um so there's that. Hopefully that helps you. Um and uh yeah, so this this is what it's like if you're trying to play Fallout New Vegas without any equipment or uh, caps or meds or literally anything in your inventory, and you have to rely just on your fists and uh, running away when it is convenient and um, and anything that is free for services. It's not exactly the easiest thing in the world, but it definitely makes you see the game in a whole new light, and that's kind of fun, actually. Um, might pick this back up next week and just see what happens after we actually get to the boomers, because if I get a few more levels, I might actually be able to get into the strip. I'll, I'll be able to get some stat bonuses so that I can do that, because uh, there's, there's a few different ways, but my stats aren't high enough for really me to do that. I'm, I, after this entire time, I'm only like level three right now, because I haven't been able to do a lot of different things that I normally would have done by this point. Um, so there's uh, that, but um, yeah. We actually went a little bit longer than normal, uh, but that's okay. I've been waiting to do this since last week when my internet failed, so that's fun. Uh, but hey, I want to thank everybody for coming by. Uh, we had a couple people come in. Thank you, thank you to EXP Limited uh, earlier for coming in. I think you're still with us, uh, and thank you to uh, Orange Ninja for joining us. That was very, that was very nice. I think we had a couple other people follow us today. That's great. Uh, so, yeah, on behalf of me and on uh, the Snowball here and all of the folks over here at Delve, um, thank you for joining us on this um, <laughs> thing where I play as my favorite class from D&D, the monk, as <laughs> in, in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Perfect setting for them. And we will, we will catch you on the next stream, which, uh, if everything goes well, will again be next Friday at noon. Eastern, and uh, thank you. Yes, GG, GG, everybody. That was fun. That was that was a lot of fun. When I initially told people that this was the idea that I had to to play around for a run, people were like, "Why do you hate yourself?" And it's like, there's so many reasons I could have cited. So many reasons I could have cited. But um, at any rate, so uh, yes, I am. Uh, I'm going to be headed off so that we can do a little bit of brainstorming for some other projects that we're working on. And um, uh, I got to, I got to get moving. Uh, thank you for joining us, everybody. We will see you on the next stream. Goodbye for now. And.